gunning this, brother running this, Buffalo soldier. Look, it's like I told Episode you. 131, dude. Oh, my God. What do you got to say about that? Oh, my God. I'll tell you what I have to say about it. What? We're with a guest. With the motherfucking Gerby. Me, your Gerbies. Little Gerbers. <laughs> the Gerby babies. How's it going? What up, what Gerbs? Up, dude? Not much. What's going on? Not much. It's just a, chilling? Just chilling, yeah. I'm so fucking, I'm pumped as fuck right now. Oh, I'm yeah? so amped, dude. I'm fucking through the <laughs> roof, dude. Okay. You can feel the energy in here. Oh, it's for fucking sure, dude. top notch. Gerby's sure. sitting there staring at me the whole time. This is no, great. Shit, no, yeah, he's, no, he's, no, he's no, been, no, fucking, he's he's been, been shooting daggers out of his boy. eyes. <laughs> what the fuck boy. are you Shane salty about? watching TikToks. It doesn't do it for me. I was showing these guys. he scrutinizes my responses. I've never seen anybody respond so poorly to TikTok. I'm sh- I'm trying to find funny videos, and he's sitting there just like, <laughs> "Yo, hold on, you're, you're wasting my time." It's just not. You're, wasting, whole, you're he, wasting my time right now. Anytime you look down your phone, he would point to he would point to you and look at me and go like this, go like, "Shut the fuck up." Yeah, I can feel it. <laughs> you don't think I saw that? We should do. We should bat, We should just totally black the room out and just go in darkness for like ten minutes, dude. Oh my god, it's, you know I love the dark. That's dude. fucking sick. I live in yeah. the dark. How you like that? It's good. What do you think about the dark? You like, you like being in the darkness? It, I mean, like, it's, you your liberated? face is a reflection off the... See your face. All right. Do you no, feel Matt, liberated? Keep, 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 keep. Yeah, it's nice to see you. This is sick, dude, in the blue light. Wow. Damn, I feel liberated as fuck right now. How liberated? Super liberated. Yes. I want to sing. Sing something. Nah, dude. Not yet. So, Gerb Dog. Save it up. What's going on? How's it going? Yeah, it's, going it's going good. You've been fucking? Sure, yes. Yo. Uh-oh. 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 The lights are on for the fuck. I, I gotta see this kid's face. Yo, you've been getting some motherfucking sex. I have. You've been What's that sex. like? Oh, it's, it's good. It's good. You've been laying it. You've I've, been laying it down. I've been laying pipe. The uh, Well, so I, I, this is uh, something I was going to tell you, which sure. is that... Uh, I, I I started consulting a dating coach on YouTube. Well, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> Tony Robbins? No, it's not Tony Robbins. <laughs> Tony Robbins just screams the N-word at you. <laughs> this guy, Coach Corey Wayne. Yeah. Coach Corey Wayne. Yeah. He's telling you how to get snows. White guy, black well, guy? A white guy. What? You didn't go hitch? No. But I, I right. think because I was always under the impression that it was just like, oh, I just need to meet the people. Like if I just need to, I just need to meet a girl, and then like I've got all the per- like I, I'll you're be perfect. fine. What once coach they say? meet you, they're I mean, once they meet me, it's like just get out on the date, and then you're good. So what did coach say? Well, I, I basically was doing like everything wrong. What's what's coach say to do without um, giving away his message for free? Well, no, 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 he gives away his message for free. On coach it. Corey Wayne. Yeah. <laughs> so Coach Corey Wayne told you to get back into the game, dude. Well, it, was, it wasn't a personal conversation. These are just videos readily available. You're not getting. <laughs> You're not getting any pussy sitting on the sidelines. <laughs> he didn't tell you to take her to like Ellis Island, did he? And like show. Oh no, no, definitely. That would be like one thing is like you definitely do not go like go somewhere or spend a lot of money up front. Oh really? Right. Really? Uh, Ellis Island's not that much. I was yeah. just thinking in terms of Hitch. Oh okay. They went to Ellis Island. Did show him the immigrants? She was Latina, and he was like, "This is where your fucking uh, no, miserable ancestors no. came from." I think that would be totally from. And he had, and he had, then he had an allergic reaction. Is your is your lady foreign? No. So it, you shouldn't take her to Ellis Island. No, it's not the Ellis. It's just the general idea of taking her on an elaborate. What about trip. the Holocaust Museum? <laughs> sure. Is she Jew or are you? Uh, Both. I choose to not respond. To Damn, that. double J's, dude. I don't, I don't understand. The double in J's. It. Do you guys wear one red gi and one white gi, <laughs> and you're double J's, and you fight off the fucking, the you fight off the plebes <laughs> trying to get your coins. <laughs> That's fucking. I love Jewish love's the best love, dude. I love. Yeah. Do you guys fuck? Do you cut a hole in the sheet and make love? (laughs) (laughs) That one snuck up on me. I took a sip of cells. I took a sip of cells. Almost blew it out my nose. (laughs) So you got double J's. I didn't confirm that. No. I just choose that. I don't understand the interest in it. See those big J tits, dude. (laughs) Nothing better than some big J (laughs) beavers. Oh, fuck. Nah, dude. No, What's I'm... wrong with you? You're being a fucking. I don't know. I'm not being anything. It's just I. I don't. I don't know. You don't want to disclose ethnicity. Yeah. No, I'm not <laughs> disclosing ethnicity. I just don't understand why that's particularly funny if it's two people that are. 
<laughs> so it is. I don't get it. So yeah. it is. Yeah. I, I guess. No, it was only funny because if you had said yeah, it would have been like, no problem. Yeah. As soon as you as soon as I was like, as soon as you say answer the question. Yeah, as soon as you yeah, obscured course. the question in typical Jewish fashion, dude, you controlled the Classic media. Classic Jay. You, tip, you just controlled the media on us. There were a couple of Gentiles who won the truth, and you just totally obscured everything. All right. So no, all we have, all we can do now is form conspiracy theories. Oh, she's not Jewish. Yeah, she's not Jewish. Oh, she's not, not Jewish? Jewish? No. Oh. Okay. That's no fun. That's no fun. Yeah. It's fun. Damn. Yeah. How's, your, how's your family feel about that? We're not, nobody's Jewish in my family, really. Yeah, huh? All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I had to live out that brief. <laughs> Double J <laughs> battle. Dude. Yeah, yeah. Very excited about so it. So she, how does she feel about your, your J-dong? My J dog? Oh my J dog! Yeah, dude. Why are you making it about Jews? I, <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just funny. Okay. Um, but <laughs> I don't know what's a J. What is a J dog? It's like an old, like the like old, like Old Testament dog. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah. That's why. That's a, just that's bring a good fire dog, and brimstone, dude. dude. You drop down <laughs> thick J dog. We asked this question before. We never got an answer because I don't think we really asked it to anyone besides each other. What's like the metaphysical re- belief of like Jewish people? Is it like old? Do you guys do Old Testament God? Uh, again, I'm not Jewish. I don't, <laughs> know, why, I don't know what I have yeah, to do. You have I'm, access. I'm, perhaps I'm culturally Jewish in so yes, far as like. But you, you have access stuff. to like. Third stuff. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? I don't know. What? You know, all the seats annoying, you know, whatever. Perhaps I'm culturally <laughs> Jewish because but I'm of saying, my hemorrhoids. You have any insights in the metaphysical beliefs? If that's no. the case, consider me a rabbi, dude. My butthole is a fucking <laughs> monster. That, that's true. If I try to get to the third floor of the temple, I'll just show him my butthole. And they're like, oh my god, Get dude! This thing, you had a hemorrhoid that covered your entire butthole, <laughs> dude. Mine blocked my entire butthole. Oh, that hemorrhoid. That's was just jealous. Nice. I saw it. It was terrible. Oh yeah, I showed you the pic. Yeah. Do you ever get hemis like that, or are your hemis more sustainable? Do they, um, do they go full blockage? They're terrible. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. That you still? When's the last time you copped one? Um, I have one now. I'm Damn, on you got a hand? Yeah, yeah. Little guy or big guy? It's decently sized. Yeah, is it fat Fuck. man? Fat man or little boy? Uh, I don't know how to describe it. Do just yours, on the outside. Do yours pop it? eventually? Mine popped, and that was if like the best enough, day. If this one won't, this will just recede. It'll retreat. They don't cut them off anymore. It'll retreat into the depths. Yeah, they're like very against cutting them. I was like, I, know that, yeah. I was literally going to the place like, cut this the fuck off. And they're like, we won't. We don't when they that. recede, it's we'll like, push them back in. It's like Jack from the Titanic sinking down. <laughs> <laughs> you just see it slowly drop in. Yeah, yeah it sucks, dude. They're fucking brutal. <laughs> so what's your, what's right. your, what's your like dump regimen now? Do you just like. Well, wait. Okay. Because I like changed my life to avoid hemorrhoids. <laughs> wait, wait. Well, my do- I-, I do as you know. I have like a squatty potty. Okay. Uh, I try and eat vegetables. How much vegetables <laughs> are you talking? Uh, you should go know. vegan, honestly. I can't do that because because then I just get real thin. My body's disgusting. You okay, take ste- go vegan on steroids. Okay. Yeah, vegan on steroids. Take roids and only yeah. Yeah, dude. Duh. Roids and broccoli only. Okay. No, you should do. You should get it because I, when I went, when I started doing the plant based stuff, it, before, like, I would get a vague idea that I had to take a dump and sit on the toilet and just, like, push while I read for, like, 45 minutes. Right, right, right. You can't now do that. I get overpowered by, I don't dump till I'm overpowered by a dump. Right. Where I'm just like, oh, God, I got to fucking run. I have to dump now. <laughs> so that's, that's the new move. That's the new wave. And I've done pretty good about, you know, I, like, wait till it really hits me and then I take a full dump. And if I don't finish, like, some, you know, sometimes you get, like, half of it out and you just. Wiping out like a messy, horrible mm. thing. I used to like try to like I'm getting the rest of this out again. You just go ass. You just go dirty ass. Just go dirty ass till it's time, dude. Hit it with a little jungle butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the problem is I I really like cheese, and so I'll eat a See, ton of cheese and then. That's how bad the, the hemorrhoid was for me. I'll never anything that constipates me. I won't eat it. Okay. That wow. was the worst, dude. I like limped around. Yeah, that thing for was like fucking, fucking four. Crazy. Fu- I, I like barely walk. And then when it finally popped, I had gauze in my ass for like two days. I had a yeah. bleeding hemorrhoid dude, you for bled two days. Through your shorts that time. Yeah, dude. And then oh like the, one time I was in school and I had to walk up in front of the class and I was like, if this gauze falls out of my asshole and like fucking lands <laughs> on the floor, yeah, dude. I'm like, I'm gonna get kicked out of here. <laughs> it was like a brown ring with like blood in it. It was disgusting. Oh my dude. god. So yeah, like again, dude, stop eating cheese, man. I, I love it though. Little that mouse. much more yeah. than your ass. <laughs> Gerby has very. You are very mouse like. I guess, yeah. If I was you, gonna catch you, I'd say that yeah. dude. That blows my mind because it's like I used to sit on the I guess toilet. So, yeah, All right. I used to sit on the toilet for <laughs> for hours. Like I used to sit on the toilets forever. 
I would I cut out anything not to get a hemorrhoid anymore. Because mm. that was like the that was hell, dude. That, I agree. Right I, off the I, cheese. I, yeah. Get, eat vegan. You can make your own queso with cashews. What I kind of cheese are you talking I mean, about? I mean, I'll lose like all my, my uh, muscle mass. I, I off never, cheese. Well, not eating protein or having. You can have protein without cheese. Is a, okay. Cheese is a, like a. He likes a, cheese though. That's yeah, a treat. Cheese is like a binding. You can eat protein. You'll blow it out. Cheese binds you up. Okay. I'm just not gonna stop eating cheese. Why, dude? Uh, I love it. Yeah, dude. Stick you love cheese, cheese more than your asshole. Yes. I, I mean, I'm doing all right now. You know, yes, I'm sitting on a thing, but it's like. Dude, That's I, you just must. Your culture. The, the hemorrhoid I got was like. <laughs> <laughs> the hemorrhoid I got was like apocalyptic. Like I was well, fucked up for like four I, as you days. know, I'm very concerned about hemorrhoids. I was the one on this podcast to say that we should teach it if we're gonna do sex ed. Yeah, but dude, you're like you're like someone who like learns about condoms and throws them out. It's like if you just if you're gonna learn all this stuff and still eat the cheese, dude, that's like step one. Ditch the chi. The chi is too good, dude. Yeah. Keep the chi. Yeah. Just let your butthole take the brunt of it. All right. Oh, dude, Keep I, eating chi. I've no, I've no, yeah. What type of chi are you crushing? Palio. Mozzarella. Yep. Uh, you you crush some blend. mozzarella. Yeah, yeah. You oh, eat like bag cheese? Yeah. <laughs> dude. You just get, straight out of the bag? Yeah. You're just reaping what you sow, dude. <laughs> I can't stop. I love it. You're just eating you give me a hunk of fresh mozzarella and that's I can't put it down. Mm. Does it can't help it what out. type of cheese it is? Like if you got like a like if you got like a blue cheese yeah, or like you a strict, creamier. If you go strictly whiz, you will not have this yeah, problem. Go, dude. Just go wit whiz. Just blow it out. I, I can't contribute anything to this cheese conversation. I don't know. What else is going on with you? I heard you and O'Connor <laughs> did a podcast episode. You did no contact? No, he, I don't know. He didn't have his thing set up properly. He, I don't think we did it. <laughs> yeah, apparently they did a contact never to be seen by the light of day. God damn, Gerbs. Was it a this hot a cast? Fucking, What's that? This is like a bad interrogation. We're not getting any information. Oh, no, I know. I, I mean, I, I honestly, I had not been feeling well, and not much goes on. I don't have, you know. You have, you got things going on. You got yeah. hemorrhoids. You're battling. You're banging jays. You got fucking. <laughs> but what the coach? What's the coach's message? We didn't get. Yeah, to that. what's his name again? <laughs> coach Corey Wayne. <laughs> coach Corey Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> what about Does he tell you to he... take a knee when you watch the YouTube videos? He's like, all right. Does take he have a, a whistle? Knee? Yeah, he's a coach. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I know. It's a little yeah. How much put? Is it fair to ask him how much pussy he gets? Uh, I mean, I think he would probably do all right. It's just, but I don't know. That's a lot of pressure for a girl. If you're like, what do you do? Be like, oh, I teach guys how to get pussy. Right. I'd be kind of hesitant to enter into that relationship. Well, it's not even about (laughs) that. I I teach guys the tricks to get pussy. Well, so he would definitely disagree with that because it's not about tricking. What's it about? Well, it's just about being in your masculine center. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Which Does he have a big dick? So he's like, all What's right. A, this guy has a big dick, right? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what his penis is. <laughs> so he's all right. I don't believe he's, he's all right. He's a fucking Western chauvinist for sure. <laughs> he does. So he's like, like just... America? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. So this guy's he's a coach, and he's saying, like, be mask as possible right. to, these, to these hoes. If you're a coach, you love America. That's true. Coach of anything. Well, no. So That's it's true. not even saying be masked. It's like, uh, <clears throat> so I'll give you an example. There's what he would call the illusion of action, which is like if a girl starts <laughs> pulling away, she ain't showing a picture. Yeah. That's Coach Corey Wayne, dude. He's hot. If a uh, if a girl starts pulling away physically when you're first dating, he's got a boat. Then <laughs> that's when that's when he's Captain Corey Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> So she physically pulls away from no, him. Not he physically. says, not, 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 not. <laughs> "Women, you should avoid." By Damn, Coach Corey dude. Wayne. Yeah. So he says, "If if, you're, if if a woman's pulling away in the <laughs> dating relationship, what do you push the gas or do you chill back?" No, you have to hang back. Of course. And um, this, this, but the the way I, I you would put be, the pussy on ice. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. I think that's intuitive for a lot of guys and not for others like myself, who it's like if she starts to back away, then you go, "Oh, well, I got to do something." I'm going to send like a funny text or a thing, but that just exacerbates the problem. So you like, if she's not, if she's ignoring you, you hit her with a fucking good joke. Right. Nah, that's terrible. It's terrible. Nah, you just go on TikTok and like rap little Wayne and let her see it. You got to learn something from those TikTok (laughs) boys. We got to get you into being a furry. They crush cheese. You go as a mouse. (laughs) You get a good fucking Chuck E. Cheese costume. So this was this, how long you been working with the coach? 
Um, no, I feel bad. I feel bad. I just don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. We love it. Why do you feel bad? You feel bad like spiritually, emotionally, physically. Physically, yeah. It's just tough to be like. It's tough to get the energy up. True. Don't worry about it. I feel like a million bucks. You're doing great. Um, no. So it's just about exactly like what Shane said. Like I would just do the wrong thing. So like simple things like um, if you if I'm if I was on the date, I would try and set up the next date. For sure. Which is like, don't do that. You leave a pair of your boxers there? What's that? <laughs> leave oh, a leave pair of your boxers there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, but it, it's it, things like that. And then um, it, your job as the guy is to set up the date. So it's like you, especially in the beginning, it's like you're only calling to set up the date. Mm. And then if she contacts you, that's her reaching out and you set up a date. But then you don't, you don't keep texting because like that's not, you're busy. Yeah. You can't, and, and. And then again, if she pulls back, you have to give her space, and not, and then the more you try and fix that, it's just like you're done. Or you go kidnap her. <laughs> right. True. That there's two of ways of doing this. You're either all in or you're not. Sure. There's no there's no tiptoeing. You got to go full Sharia. If she if she wants space, we're gonna yeah. talk. We're gonna have a little chat for sure. <laughs> you show up at her house and break in. How does right. he feel about just going on twi- on Tinder and just swiping every single person? And then just He's waiting? not really about that. It's yeah. more about um, just like what to do if you're on a date or or in in dating or in a relationship. Does he give sex advice? Uh, I, I think there is a video. And what do you mean? You think? What do you mean? You think? I've seen a video about like how yeah. like does he massive... skip right to the fucking oil driller? You <laughs> <laughs> caught me in a. Is you're gonna get her on the couch and then you tip her over so her head's on the floor <laughs> and now you fucking drop yeah. down. You bend your hard dick down and drill her like an oil driller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What does he say in the video? About it, it's an uncomfortable video to watch. I have watched. It. I cannot tell a lie. It's just about like you know uh, how to how to come multiple times and I, I don't know I, oh like whoa. when you get to the point like hold he's like a yeah. a tantric lover yeah like uh, and about how to like Damn. work to that it's just not well what, tell us about hold it. up tell man. us about this video what that one was it's just like you masturbate until you know you're about to ejaculate and then you stop edging and then, yeah so and he says what? to edge yourself you just apparently keep doing that you keep edging Did you ever try that hurts so fucking bad i, I, t- I turned it off honest were you edging I was not. Well, I was not masturbating watching it. Did it get you thick though? Talking about it? No, it did not get me thick. Did he, me how, thick? That's not an issue for me. Did he? Ma- did he like? Like did you jerk off to Coach Corey Wayne videos? <laughs> was he jerking himself off? <laughs> while I did it. I. I. He was not. And no. Was he wearing like an off-brand sports like <laughs> shirt, like some sort of like All Pro? Under Armour. Does he it's do- so funny. He does wear. Yes, Under I knew Armour it, dude. I guarantee. I know exactly who these people so, are. Well, does, is there anything he offers where like a bunch of people can like jerk off together and he blows a whistle? There's nothing like to do with that. There's <laughs> nothing to do with that. Somebody <laughs> accidentally still Coach, comes. I think he offers Coach, really good advice. Uh, Coach, I'm gonna come. He's like, <laughs> you still not? No grip, hands. Grip your fucking root. Do you yeah, think you, you can do you, that? You know what? Another That's thing. Sick. No I'm hand gonna it. do that. Hell yeah. Another About thing? to come and then no hand it. Let it ride. Just let Coach see. Let Jesus take the wheel. Damn, you'd be that problematic player on his team where he's like, I said no come, and you're like, oh. Oh, Sorry, but, coach. I'm out of control. That's how I have. Uh, that's how I I can sustain. That's how I can come twice. Yeah, you, you come twice. Yeah, when you pull out, you just let it go. You don't touch it. So you it's a the, bad come. Yes, it's a bad come. You get one bad come yeah. and yeah, you yeah. keep going. Yeah. Now nah, I come I once. It. Either she came or not, and then I lay down. Yeah. <laughs> well, either like you'll <laughs> that's pull out. Masculine. You can release the pressure. You that's can pull out and just go <laughs> and just squirt a little bit out, and then get back at it. But it's like it's a weird feeling. Oh, how bad is that when you have a bad cum? Yeah. Yeah. It depends. I have there's a threshold. If I squirt like ten percent of it out, I'm fine. If I squirt like forty percent of it out, then I'm just like I'm in a weird twilight yeah, did zone. Did I finish? Like, yeah. Did I even finish? And then especially in a, that's when you're in a long relationship and it's like, all right, let's. I didn't finish, and it's like, no. You did. I'm done. Like, yeah. Bitch, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I have half a nut left. I only me. had one nut. Give me ten minutes. Let my I need to go time. call Co- Coach Corey. <laughs> <laughs> Coach Corey Wayne. Is he Southern? Uh, I don't believe so, but he lives in Florida. I'm, I'm telling you, I can just... Fuck, I can, I'm a fucking psychic with this guy. Yeah. Is this the MILF hunter? No. From the porno. <laughs> the MILF hunter was the man. That's who you should be watching. Yeah, that guy had all the techniques. <laughs> up with my eye. Your eye's fucked up? What's yeah. wrong with it? I don't know. It's not seeing right. Uh, fuck, man. Yeah. Uh, how much but you, anyway, how much so he charge? another how thing, like, he, he, another thing that he, what? How much does he charge? Well, he does, uh, like, I don't know, uh, for individual lessons. Um, I don't know. But he does offer that. But the, but the other thing was, it was like patience. 
because that's a that that was another huge issue and and with this girl that i'm currently seeing now there because i think what he says he's like when you start dating somebody he's like men can fall in love quick women fall in love slow so like if a guy finds a chick attractive it's like then we'll just find reasons to like her yeah along the way but like mm. a woman needs time what yeah, i heard that hit hard. Yeah, yeah, so like <laughs> coach cory uh, wayne's hit me <laughs> so um but for so then you, you just immediately kind of want to know where you stand but if she's an attractive girl she's got tons of options sure and so she's on the lookout for neediness and so the moment you show that you can't be patient and like congruent with what you say, so to be like, what? <laughs> Did he like stick his head inside of a pussy and learn all this? <laughs> like, how does he know? <laughs> Sorry, that's what I imagined and I started yeah. laughing. I imagine Coach Corey Wayne downloading the information. Of the Coach Corey Wayne is the fucking man. <laughs> you know? so, so he was saying that you're on the lookout for neediness. Yes, yeah, so you have to basically play it cool. You yeah, be a pimp. yeah. And you be pimp congruent him. with your words. If, you, if she says, um, I'll get, if you're like, you know, um, let me know when you're free because she cancels plans or something. It's like, okay, no problem. I'd love to see you. Let me know next time you're free. You yeah. have to wait for her to contact you or just never contact her again. But the, again, the guy thing, like for me, it would be like if she didn't contact me and two days later, I'm like, oh, what's going on? Yeah. What about if you're just like, what's up? What, you fucking bitch? Yeah, you got to say that. <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, we should we should start making some dating Yeah, advice. dude, exactly. You Counter Coach Corey Wayne. I go, I go fully against that. I I just tell girls immediately, like, oh, my God, I'm in love with you. Yeah, I fucking sob. I fucking I cry love on you, the first and date. I want to see you immediately. I I flip that on its head to where I'll be I, like. I would do that, yeah. I flip it on its head where I'm like, yeah, I, I just, you know, I'm supposed to wait or whatever to be cool, but I need to see you right away. Whew, I need to see cool. you right away. I love babe. you now. Yeah, exactly. you got Thank me you, going. Dude. Thank you, dude. You're cry- I, you got to show up crying. <laughs> yeah. I bet you he would you agree with that because he'd say you're being very honest and direct. Yeah, I mean, of course you would agree with me, dude. He'd be like, yeah. "Damn, dude." Yeah, pimp to pimp. Whew. Student just became the coach. <laughs> now you're coaching Corey Wayne, dude. <laughs> Tell him to stop edging. That's fucking weird. He's an old man edging. Yeah. Yeah. How long do you want to have sex for, dude? I don't yeah, know. Man. I don't know. I mean, at what point when you're I, you're I like making wait. your fifty year old wife come six times? It's like stop. Yeah, dude. what are you doing? <laughs> I can't wait for Coach Corey Wayne to die in a boating accident <laughs> when he hits some manatee down in Florida, and gets launched from his <laughs> shitty pontoon boat. <laughs> oh man, I don't know why it's so funny. So Gerbs, you're bad. No, it's funny. I, I feel bad. I'm like uh, you're so sad right now. Don't worry. About I'm not it. sad. I just feel very. I don't feel well. Like for the I know you have arthritis. So, yeah, yeah. It's been oh, up, got so you. Like, His me, arthritis is flaring. It gives me like flu-like symptoms. So I'm just like oh very really tired. Yeah, Fuck, yeah. Dude. Like, very tired and like uncomfortable. Yeah, but you're still hilarious. You put this is your flu game. This is yeah, true, this is dude. Flu, whatever. I'm we'll dragging it. the threesome down here, but uh, no. keep going. What were you gonna say about? No, Jews? I was just hoping about Jews. <laughs> <laughs> no, you debunked the J date. I thought you were on a thick J date, but now you're just banging a Gentile. Yeah. Wow. What do you think about Gentile snooze? I, I'm fine with any kind of snooze. Yeah, is any dude. do you in your head at some point be like, oh, this person's a Gentile? No. While you're in there, you can tell. I would never know. A little bit. The, it's a different yeah, type of gruel. The gruel consistency is off on a Gentile. You know that gruel thing is like uh, during ovulation. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah, apparently what? it's stripper, strippers who ovulate tend to make more tips. People don't even know. Really? Strippers who really? are I should say strippers who are ovulating. They've studied it, they make more tips. Nice. They, what are yeah. they releasing? Pheromones, pheromones or some shit. Yeah, get, I don't you know. Get, you want to impregnate them, so you give them yes. five bucks. Exactly. Yeah. You Pretty crumble much. up a five instead of a one and That's throw it at her. That's the closest thing you can get to her. Like <laughs> instead of a sperm cell, you just like live like give her a dollar bill that she carries with her. Dude, remember that you can just come remember on a dollar bill. <laughs> We were at that strip club in South Carolina <laughs> where you see me and Matt sat up front and we're throwing money at the strippers. We were like crumbling up and throwing it at them. And they got furious. Well, that's They're not like, it's to? super disrespectful, I guess. Well, it's show and tell. They like open their butthole yeah. and throw yeah. one at the, at their butthole. And if you hit it, you get rewarded you come with from a smile. A, dude, you come from a Philly strip club down to a fucking good old southern gentleman. Strip, a gentleman's club. Yeah, dude. We were in a gentleman's club. Yeah, we were in Coach Corey Walker's territory, yeah, dude. Yeah, we were in Coach Corey. We should have like, those strippers out and just ignored them all together. There's a bunch of dudes edging in the back. <laughs> They're all in the fucking booths edging. <laughs> She just saw him come up to me and be like, Psh, I'm really busy right now. I don't yeah, sorry, I'm too to busy. You. Put the stripper on ice. That'll work. Oh, I'll put the put put a, a stripper, put a on good ice? stripper on ice. Yeah, dude, that works big time. Like, nah, I don't have any money. I'm poor. Ignore you. <laughs> oh, I'll come back. <laughs> Play the long game. <laughs> That's true. Gerbys, you like going to strip clubs? I used to. Yeah, now I hate it. Really? Yeah, yeah. When's the last? I can't even remember the last time I went to one. Oh, man. I went to one not that long ago. 
with I did like the nightmare. Oh, no, I went then. with my girlfriend. Oh. I was like, let's go to a strip club. It's horrible. We just sat there and I was like, this is so fucking. Weird. They get a lap dance. It's like, did you even? They, I, was, I was like, you can go get a. She was like, I don't want to do that. And I was like, well, this is fucking weird. I'm like, I, yeah. it's, it was. It going, is weird. Going to a strip club with your girlfriend again. Maybe if she's like some weird free spirited like. If she was like trying to have like threesomes and shit with strippers, then like obviously go to a strip yes. club with your girlfriend. But take a good old traditional girl to a strip club, dude. They're not trying to see that shit. No, she it was her idea, and we went. And I was just like happy now. This fucking sucks. I want to get out of here. What do you think Coach Corey Wayne would say about that? Taking your bay to a strip club? If she wanted to go, I'm sure you know. Well, I kind of took her, and I was like, look, if you don't get your shit together, you're going to be up there <laughs> polluting yourself. <laughs> For these disgusting yeah, it was a scared men. straight. It was a scared straight tactic. Yeah, you had the basically. strippers scream at her for yeah. the lap dance. <laughs> Throw them an extra ten bucks. <laughs> be like, you know, we're hiring, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. You think you do this, you little bitch? I'll fuck Ooh. you up up here. Yeah, and I scared my babe straight. Took her to the strip club. I was like, yo, get it together. Or you'll be up there, disgracing your shaking name, shaking it, dancing a Nickelback <laughs> in some fucking white trash town, shaking your titties to Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, that's sad. That's a sad. The older I get, the sadder my strip club experience tends to be. I walk in there and I'm like, "Oh man." Yeah, I went sucks. after after Notre Dame lost to Clemson. Went down to the strip club. You just needed some. Me, Okani, I forget who else we were with. Mm-hmm. Went down. Oh, Beezer, <laughs> the Beezer, the Beezer, <laughs> me and the Beezer. Yeah, it sucked. We were all hammered already. Yeah. Just stood there. Yeah. Let's get the fuck out of here. This is weird. Yeah, it's kind of sad because I like, dude. It's. I would love to engage in the fantasy. The contacts like, run around though. You take a contact into a strip club. Falls he's, in love. He, you know how he is. He's, he's, bu- he's, he's buzzing. scurries, dude. He's a little buzz, dude. He <laughs> he's, scurries around. Really? You get you get a Connie in a crowd. He scurries. Really takes yeah. off. Yeah. I used to like Different really directions. get into the game of like getting into strip clubs and like talking to the strippers. Yeah, becoming and all this friends stuff. with one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like talking to them. Or I used to really get in there and try to see what's what. I'd be like, all right. You were trying to get head. Yeah, I was trying to I was trying to take him home trying and do get... that night thing. Yeah. Yeah, dude. dude. I would be like, what can we get done here? But now it's like How can I nut? Exactly. What orifice the can I nut? Classic <laughs> strip what how can I nut, dude? There's gotta be a way to nut here. There is. In, in the strip club, there's like there's tried and true methods. You can all you can yeah. find the one who's in there just going the extra mile. Just laying on line. Get a guy, get a nice blowjob with a condom on from a stripper. Yeah. Now dude. you're living. Now you're fucking living. Go home, take like a two showers, and be like, oh, why the fuck did I do that? Oh my god, ew, <laughs> cry ew, a little. Ew, ew, ew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just think about your mom. This isn't like, me. Sorry. This isn't me at all. <laughs> this isn't what I wanted to be when I grew up. <laughs> the girl yeah, so disgusting. We gotta get a hold of Coach Corey Wayne and get him to get you onto his party boat down in Florida. <laughs> get the Gerbies out at SS sea. SS Edge. <laughs> <laughs> get him out. Get the Gerb dog out at sea. You got sea legs, don't you? I can tell. So wait, I do. You yeah, edge... I, got, I got like wobbly legs. Do you really? <laughs> no, I feel like edged... a little lightheaded. Yeah. No, I'm saying if you right edge. Yeah, yeah. If you, you edge, want to not do this. I thought that I don't want to do it. I just don't feel. You want to just go lay down, and me and Matt will keep going. And if you feel better, you can sub back in. Um... Yeah, can we set like a timer where every 30 seconds you come in. Okay, yeah. No, I mean, I can just sit here. I just feel terrible. No, don't just sit here. It's weird. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can sit. Yeah, I don't use it. We can just talk. Okay. Yeah, if you're feeling sickly, dude, you're feeling sickly. There's nothing you can do. Nice. Yeah, you're giving it your I all. I think I would uh, suck this hard. I, I you're not know. sucking at all, bro. Yeah, you're, you're not br- sucking, bro. You're bringing us fucking goods. Okay. Met Milo Yiannopoulos last night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's a fucking douche. Oh, yeah? Really? Tell us, <laughs> yeah, give yeah. us the deals. No, nah, yeah. he was just exactly what you'd think he'd be. Sure. He's like, oh, my gosh, this place is a dump. Oh, like, shit like that. Uh, it's just yeah, like, dude, yeah. you're a fucking bitch. I'm, dude, I, look, man, I'm all for having fun in comedy yeah, and saying. plump butt, though. Did he really? Milo has Why? a little... Why? Like he had like a heart-shaped hiney? He literally had like... like it, an 80s chick From behind butt. it looked like a lady at a VFW smoking a cigarette. Like he's got like a thick, <laughs> plump, Ew. old lady butt. Yeah. With like weird jeans. He was wearing like weird... Of course he was wearing like designer weird jeans. Yeah. He like, looked like he was wearing lad jeans. Like it had the pockets that had the... He had like a... Kind, was it like a... Like a wide ass? Or like a third dimension pop like a out? a wide, plump ass. It was like a plump... Round. I think he got an ass job. It almost looked like it. Oh, dude. Yeah, that guy's out. I mean, he's. I was watching his facial expressions while he was doing this podcast. It's like he's something's way off. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, something's yeah. off with that guy for sure. I mean, it, it seems. But I would have him as a guest. No problem. Like I'll I didn't. I didn't have any problem with that. Well, that's my thing, dude. It's like I, you know, I'm all about freedom of expression. When you bring a Hell fascist yeah. into my backyard, not in my yard. <laughs> you bring it into my backyard, dude. Bro. In my New York City, you bring a fascist. <sighs> Fascist. That's when I gotta raise my voice. I Fascist. gotta yeah, bring you awareness. Gotta speak dude. Up. I gotta are not speak welcome up, dude. Here. 
I, dude, I gotta speak you up. You bring in a that. real Nazi. Exactly. That's in a real in Nazi. my backyard. Just a gay British. I mean, dude, I did Nazi. the roast battles. Here's my set. Check them out. True. Why, please watch my set. But I don't like fucking fascists. I, hate I was fascists. dude. The blowback in tweets. I was looking at that were the most like shameless self promotionary. Like the, the one guy was like, check out the set I did on the thing. I was like, I'm totally cool with fun and games, but I also don't like fascists. I was like, dude, what the fuck? What are oh you doing? What are Someone you trying? Posted their own yeah, set. dude, posted their set. Like, here's me doing the roast battle. Obviously, I like telling dirty jokes and like offensive stuff, but I don't like fascists in my back. It's like, yes. are you that fucking dumb? They they are, man. Dude, the fucking tweets are so funny from the people. The shit they sent him. Yeah, my so, backyard. To call anywhere your backyard, you're automatically New York banned. City is you're your backyard. You're not funny, dude. Queens is your backyard. It's your you backyard, dude. Dildo. And you hear about a fascist, dude, coming the into your backyard. It's the last thing I need. You're patrolling like World War II villains <laughs> from coming into your backyard. Yeah, man. You just man the guns. Let's let's fucking waiting for a fascist to fucking rear its ugly. Man, you got someone's gonna Franz Ferdinand out, dude. I'll fucking do it. Someone's about to Archbishop Bishop Franz Ferdinand. <laughs> I did. I did. Uh, <laughs> So Milo was sitting on a couch in the studio, and I came in and sat next to him. Yeah. So, you know, there's one couch. I just sat. He got up, like, instantly and walked really? away. Really? I was like, what the fuck's this guy's problem? You tell him he was in your backyard? And I you said, you're an in my backyard. Him? I'm keeping an eye on <laughs> you. I stayed right behind him the entire I was looking at that plump butt the whole time, dude. <laughs> you're like a double agent who fell in love. Yeah, I did. I accidentally fell into the enemy's arms. But uh, if you don't know, this Legion of Skanks podcast had yeah. Milo Yiannopoulos as a guest. Okay. So all the, you know... Brooklyn fucking pussy comics that are like, I, I'm okay with, like, if you, I don't know, if you got to fucking message one of the guys, if you know the comics, sure, message them and be like, yo, this is, this is weird. Don't do it. Don't have my Something like on. that. Yeah. And then, and then let them be like, nah, we're going to do it. Whatever. Fuck okay. you. But like, leave it there. Don't fucking, don't tweet publicly. And then about the venue, like they were shitting on Creek in the Cave and like, yeah, and that's like the, so fucking the Mecca for like, yes. For like pretty much like uh, young, hipstery comedy, yeah. young or bad comics. There's a lot of bad comics that still hang out at the creek. Now, yeah, and they're the ones definitely. that are like, I can't believe this. Well, that's because they're not funny. Yeah, if you're not funny, it's like, all right, well, how else can I? How else can I skin this cat? Well, that's uh, so. I was with Jay the the that day, the day of, and him and Christine. Like you could say, you could see they were hurt. Like you're worked up by this because these yeah, are like sure, I believe, it's the same. Yeah. And I was telling him, I was like, this is like a exact same thing that happened to us oh, with good yeah good. with good, good where i was yeah. like you lose friends yep and it's like good good riddance yeah they fuck were off. fucking pussies yeah dude like they're they're gonna publicly tweet that i'm like alt right it's like suck my dick you fucking weirdo and yeah the one dude one dude dm'd me during that whole dweck thing the firefighter sketch and was like i dm'd him i was like here's my number just call me and i'll explain everything but yeah, i stop. can't publicly fucking say what i'm gonna say to you like yeah. I can't publicly be like, this is clearly a right wing show. I'm trying to make it moderate, sure, and make it funny, right? Yeah, like, and I'm trying to get paid and make a fucking yeah. living. There's like, it's like, dude, I just very moved to New slim, York, very with slim, four hundred dollars. Yeah, like I need this money. Yeah, and, and it's me and, and dude, John making funny videos. And it wasn't espousing like Nazi propaganda. No. Although, were you in my backyard fucking contributing to fascism? I was dude? in your backyard, baby. Dude, you I cannot be. It. Hold on, let me. I gotta set to all caps, dude. And go to Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, man. How was that contributing? I will not be silenced. I will not. <laughs> yeah, be yeah. He's joking. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I know. Just the but blowback I, I was so the generic yeah. and just watered down, and it was unbelievable. To the fact where I was like, I was really wondering if people really believe that. I'm like, are people like kind of like? Do people really believe this? And I don't no. know what's worse or what you know. If they, they did, it's like Jesus Christ. And like you could you could reach out to Jay. Like, Big J is a nice sure. guy. Like, if you told him that, he'd be like, okay, whatever. Yeah, like and that would be it. Be like, look, you're going to get a bunch of shit for having Milo yes. Yiannopoulos. I don't even know what the, he's ever said or, like, what his problem is. That's another thing. If you look into it, it's like, yeah, he said a bunch of dumb shit. Yeah. He's a fucking weirdo. Sure. And it's That's like, it. you could have him on and fuck around with him on a podcast. You're going to set, you're going to start telling people who they can and cannot have on, dude. It's yeah. like, you, you just, you don't have that authority. Dude. It's so weird. Yeah, to want to, if someone had like a lame guest on, or even someone like I downright hated, <laughs> or someone I like just downright hated, like Gerbys. <laughs> dude, I hate me now too. Dude. I hate you, dude. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. I know, no, I know. I, so kidding. Kidding. I, good. I know you get, I know you get down on yourself, dude. For, no, no, yes. Like, imagine, imagine dude. me out front of like, say, the Creek and Cave protesting. 
Someone spray painted on the concrete in on the sidewalk in front of Creek in the Cave, like no Nazis allowed. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. They didn't even have it at the creek. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like Dude, whatever, man. No fucking Nazis allowed. No Nazis, no fascists. Last thing we need are Nazis. Dude, around the here. World War Two <laughs> fear mongering is the dude. funniest thing in the world. And now you have a bunch of people who have so little going on yeah. that they're like, he's a fucking, they're communists, they're attacking us, they're fucking fascists. It's like, I can guarantee you no, these guys aren't going to pick up steam and create like fucking Stalin-esque, pa- it's, or the, re- the reverse. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. And the Antifa got involved. I was there. Oh they tweet, God, dude. Dude. You didn't see me, dude. I had a bandana oh, yeah, on my you, face. Was that you who hit me? Yeah, dude. I fucking you went fucking up and pinched your butt. Me. <laughs> pinched my butt. <laughs> Antifa is, I, I hate it. I mean, we talked about it last week. It yeah. is retards fighting retards with Absolutely. like <laughs> sticks, and yeah. mace. And like, it's unreal, dude. But the com the comments were, were I was shocked about from all those other comics who are just kind of like, and like, dude, I like I just cannot. Cl- the, the opportunism is so obvious and transparent to be like, this is my moment. There's gonna be a million blogs about like why I reacted to blah yeah. blah blah. And it's like, dude, nobody gives a fuck. Yeah, man. Nobody and and it's like, look at what Milo was just on. He's on like HBO. He's on like, he's done a ton of shit. He was on Rogan. Yeah. It's like. Rogan, Rogan fucking destroyed him, dude. Rogan fucking destroyed him. Logic. Rogan destroys Milo. It's like, you. Do, I mean. You don't, mind, Rogan it? was basically like, you don't love Jesus. And Milo's like, yes, I do. He's like, nah. Is that what they talked about? I, I love like, Jesus. I like read. You know who doesn't love Jesus? Who? Gerby's, you an atheist? I mean, you know that about me. He hates religion. Atheism is a religion. No, it's not. Yes, it is, dude. It's a logical leap of faith people take. No, it's not. It's a religion. No, it's not. Sure is. It's it's, um, it's a rejection of claims. Sure. About certain truth. There is no God. Right. Claim on the truth. I I don't claim that there certainly is not. All right, so you're not an atheist. Yeah, you're, you're an agnostic. Atheist, bro. No, you're no, agnostic. that's why most atheists would consider themselves. You'd say, well, I because you can't. Well, you prove why would you need to quantify that? I don't. I don't well, think because you, because that's not what you do. You go. I don't. But know there is that, a God, and He has very. No, specific I, I don't things. know that there's a God. I don't. I wouldn't call myself an atheist. Yeah, you're an atheist. atheist is a logical belief. That agnostic there is, is the word. Yeah. that you're looking for. Eh, but it's not. It's not like, oh, I, I think that this could be a God or there could not be a God. Okay, so then you believe there absolutely is not. No. Okay, so then could be a god or could not be is agnostic. But there also could be like other ridiculous things. Simulation. Sure. It's it's pretty, you know, it could happen. So you're an atheist. Yeah, that's what I would consider. Right? Yeah, I don't think that's so, that a, a, reli- a religion. That. It's a religion. All right, I don't, I don't Just an great. atheist J. <laughs> <laughs> like most J's, I think. True. <laughs> but Actually, uh, like most Catholics. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I, I think like, again, that the... the and it's just, I'm in this like weird state right now where like when I talk, I get lightheaded. Really? It's like if I can't get breath, yeah. Why don't you go lay down on the couch? Okay. Go. Because I have, I want to have conversation about it. And then I, fucking uh, hop back in. Okay. We'll be here. I'll hop back in. Go, go edge, down. dude, and get back in the game. Go, right, go edge. Go get yourself, see what Coach Corey, Mo- <laughs> Corey Wayne's going to say to <laughs> okay. you. He's going to be pissed. Yeah, lay down, dude. Get some, Sorry, lay down. Dude, please. Right. Get some Watch food. Watch cartoons with Dorian. <laughs> All right. We got a sad boy on right Down again. Yeah, he's sick, fucking sad sick, boy. dude. <laughs> I didn't know he was so fucked up. He's a sick, sad boy. Damn. Yeah, man. So what's up, bro? <laughs> oh, dude. Just the two yeah, of it's us. It's just us, dude. Just bye, bye, us. bye, curious. Two Let's go, dude. <laughs> Yo, shout out Jaybird. What up, bro? Who's Jaybird? My fucking dog. Fuck yeah, dude. Let me see that boy. You want to see a picture of Jaybird? Let me see him. Um... What so have what's I going been up on, to? Dog? Oh man, dude, I've been. I know you've been up to no good. I've been fucking rocking out hard, dude. So, well, I tried to sleep outside the other night. That was fucking. It was. It was like solid move. Yeah. Well, yeah. My uh, Brittany had her friend. They like went to Baltimore, so her friend stayed over. So I was like, oh, so you had the house to yourself. You were just gonna sleep outside. No, no, they were. They, they were both there. So I was like, you guys take the bed. Oh, okay. And I'll go. I'll put an air mattress on my little back deck on the third floor and sleep under yeah, the stars. Why don't you just put it inside? You know, I'm sleeping under bed. the stars, dude. It dropped to like 50, 58, I think. Oh, I like that. I thought I did too. I woke up and I was air mattress chill- hurts. Air lead, mattress hurts. Dude. That'll be cold underneath. Oh, I was so cold, dude. I woke up like frightening like i used to sleep in my uh my brother's house the one part had no heat or anything and i slept in like yeah, it was like an addition yeah. 
I would like see my breath in there, dude. This was oh, like, dude. Do you remember the place across the street where we used to live? Yeah, your room. Dude, used my to room get was freezing. Rocking all these spots. Yeah, dude. But yeah. like when you're outside, it, it was so weird because I was like hot for because I, I really bundled up because I was ready for the cold. So I bundled up, so I just sweat a lot, and then I fell asleep and woke up, and I was freezing and wet. It was just like, oh, oh, oh. I just oh like literally God. ran inside and got on the couch. It was like, uh, uh, and it was like, this is such a bad <laughs> fucking idea, dude. I thought I was going to get sick. What were you hoping to accomplish? I was just wanting to sleep under the stars, dude, and wake up. And, you <laughs> it was know, cloudy, and cold. <laughs> it was freezing, dude. It was like seventy five when I laid out there, and it dropped to like fifty eight. I woke up at three in the morning, like basically as cold as it gets, and was just like, oh. Damn. Ran inside. Left the air mattress out there and everything. Was, I literally ran inside. My dogs wouldn't come outside and sleep with me. They, like, came out and were like, yeah, we're cool on that. Wow. I, I, dude, it was fucking... It was hilarious. Damn. What night was that? Uh, Friday? You're out. That's just a Friday that, night. Friday, yeah, Friday. I'm going to say Friday night. I think this it was. This is how we do. Dude, that was literally... I was out... Well, I, I've been getting real into this... Uh. I'm on the opposite kick of Gerby's. I'm trying to establish a religion for myself. Yeah. So I've been getting real into like nature worship, sun worship. All right. I've been getting into that stuff. <laughs> getting into the, the old, yeah, dumb religion. I'm taking it back way. Nah, I'm taking it way, way back. Go dude. Catholic, dude. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, nah, yes, Catholicism. Yeah. Catholicism's the shit. Well, I was reading about that or too. Is, or Islam. Islam's the shit. They're too. dead. They're dead. They were. They were what? necessary stepping stones for like. Again, the stuff that I'm into, and people legitimately were like, yeah, we're basically just animals, and we live out here and sacrifice each other, and Catholics came by and were like, no, 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 you guys are gods, you're divine. No, Catholics came around and were like, stop fucking killing each other and get inside. Yeah, but it's not, yeah, exactly, but it's not, it wasn't as diabolical. Everyone's like, they were like, they saw people tripping and having fun, and were like, knock it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was more like, they were like, sacrifice, imagine if you were like, came down to an island, you saw some lady get her head cut off, and everyone's like, ah! You're yeah. like, dude, this has You're got. Like, hey, this. I got a book. You guys, yeah, need. like, dude, and then, dude, it was such an easy pitch, like, because, like, you just give someone like salt, and they're like, what the fuck is that? Like, yeah, come <laughs> yeah, check this yeah, out. Yeah, Sleep. Yeah. I like slept outside. And I'm like, if someone came up to me, it was like, hit it, hit this little hut up, and it was like kind of warm. I'd been like, someone had like twelve buffalo wings. Yeah, like, come dude. check this out. Someone hit me like, some I'm, MSG. I'm I'd be like, all right. So what you're telling me? I'm not an animal. I'm a god, and <laughs> yeah. I can now can have salt. I'm like, all right. Done. So I was, in my head, I was like, it was a necessary step, but I, I, th- I think it's like it's run its course. Well, that's now you sound like O'Connor and Gerbys. No, they think religion was a necessary evil. I don't. Th- now, I don't think it's an evil at not all. Not necessarily an evil, but it was. Ne- it was necessary to get us now where we're in a. That's and they, they, see, we're in the new Elon Musk space that's, age. That's where I detach because they're trying the, to get to Mars, dude. Uh, dude, that's where I detach because that's just the transfer of re- religious ideology into another space to where they're like, religion's dumb. I believe in us traveling to space and well, one day we'll live forever in computers. It's like, okay, that's a whole other religion. But yeah, but your religion is you're just reverting back. I'm into the archetypes, dude. People need to have some sort of religious belief structure, something on some level where they interface with the mystic because we lost that, dude. Yeah. We've lost it. No, I Look still, where it's got I still us, interface. Dude. You interface with the mystic. I believe the mystic, dude. You're like you're like a um, like a drunken Shaolin monk, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I have been a drunken fucking retard lately. Good lord, man. Well, it's just people are so fucked, dude. It's just like it's just weird to think about how miserable everybody. Is. Most people are slightly kind of fucked up and miserable for some reason. If you're like, why? They're like, I don't know. I'm just fucked up right now. Maybe they always have been. I don't know. Maybe that's what drives us. Yeah, but I don't... And you need that good depression and anxiety to fucking go. Oh, yeah, we talked about this last week. What? That's what I fucking live off of. Oh, you're fueled by all that? I'm just fueled entirely (laughs) by fucking self-hate. No, I don't know. I'm I'm on a thing now where I'm trying to come up with a palatable, mystical belief structure. So... (laughs) That's why I eat mushrooms and sit on my side, my little deck. <laughs> I sit there, I'm like, oh god, oh god, I'm finding God, dude. I uh, fuck, man. I had, dude. So I, do you think Gerby's is dead? He's just laying down. He's, could laying, be, he's like he's, an old sick dog. He went under the porch. <laughs> <laughs> he's gone under the porch to die, dude. So I've been, I've been like, like every week I come here, I talk about the same shit, dude. I, I just been climbing that stairway to heaven. Yeah, dude. I just keep giving myself like bigger and bigger weed edibles, and just, I've been trying to champ them as my best ability. Dude, I will say if anyone wants to do this, there's that it's the uh fuck what's it called? It's that Paul Stamets Myco Defense or Host Defense. If you Google Host Defense brain supplement, that's the one I'm talking about that has a go-to cola and the other stuff in there. I need to see if this is just me, but I swear to god, when you take that stuff 
it intensifies edibles to the point where they're like hallucinatory. It's insane. Really? Well, not like, you know, I'm not like seeing like ghosts and shit. Yeah. But like my last week I had, uh, I did my little microdose thing and I'm like, all right, that, that's easy. You're just like, yeah. it's really, you know, that's pretty easy to do. And I'm slowly ramping that up. So I'm trying to get back to just like tripping as hard as possible. And I could just eat a bunch and trip my balls off, but I'm trying to completely master it where I just, sure. I mean, I'm, I'm developing a program for people. That's like, what I'm doing with Bud Light. Are you really? I'm just working my tolerance up <laughs> to just like, so like if I'm just hanging out, I microdose, I'll have like a six pack. <laughs> <laughs> I microdose Bud Light and then I'll fucking go out. And <laughs> just go out in the world. Every once in a while, just see how fucked up I can get. And by every once in a while, I mean like every other day. <laughs> I'm just like, I gotta push this thing to the limit, see how much alcohol I can take. Dude, I'm, I'm coming up with a field guide. For, and it's it's not for, again, you help people like, oh, I can eat like six tubs of acid and go food shop. And it's like, all right, well, clearly this is not for you. And it's like, I mean, I, look, this is probably me just being jealous, but it's like, to be able to champ acid like that, I don't how does I don't understand how your brain works, so you're not completely overwhelmed. I mean, that, again, that's, if how, I get slightly that's how I feel with one hit. That's what I'm saying. From a fucking joint, and I'm just like, I gotta go home, everyone here hates me. Well, I think there's a lot to, that, my thing is, is it's a, there's a lot to be had to like navigating that. And get, I mean, talk about I this know, every I fucking know, week. I know, I know, I know. But the. I'll tell uh, you, you want to talk about navigating, navigate what? a good 20 Bud Lights, try to navigate that, dude. That's a, t- that's a tough on, realm, dude. Yeah, that's a wild realm. Oh, God. It's just you versus your ego. Just your ego's like, tell him he's gay. Well, that's. Tell him you're the best. That's where they. Uh, Assault that girl. <laughs> <laughs> they theorize that that came about from all like the mushroom cults. They started storing mushrooms in honey. And then from holding on to honey for a long time, people naturally Ooh. found out about fermentation. Yeah, that's yeah, where yeah. the alcohol culture led to our current. So mushrooms culture. led to booze? Mushrooms are gay. The, the preservation, no, no, yeah, no, dude, no, dude. Yeah, you're on that Rogan tip where it's like, been on, I've been on mushrooms led to booze. Mushrooms led to probably humans. Apes were eating mushrooms. Started. Are you uh, talking about? You're talking stone. You're talking well, stoned ape theory. Well, what's McKenna. this? What's going on here? Nah, that's such a such a rudimentary understanding that's, of theory. Oh my dude, god! Fuck that oh theory. My god, dude. I got one theory. <laughs> that's Notre Dame football, dude. <laughs> I can't wait. Dude, are you excited? I. Hold for on, Notre what Dame? do you think Notre Dame's going to do this year? What's their record going to be? Uh, I would say 10-4. and 10-4? and four? 10 wins, 4 losses. All right, you actually nail it. Really? As far as, like, with a bowl game, 10-4. and four. Yes, dude. Last time, you were like, South Carolina's going to go 38-12. <laughs> I think I just pictured, like, a Madden season in my head, and I was like, 14 games, I think. Close. Like regular season. 16, yeah. 16? You nailing it, though. So college is only 14 games? College is 12 regular season. Two bowls? And then a bowl game. Some sugar bowls? You got 12 regular season, yeah. and then a conference championship, and then a bowl game. So Notre Dame could not go 10-4. and four. Oh, Well, with the playoffs, but they wouldn't make the playoffs 10-4. and four. Okay. We're getting wild now. Now okay. we're talking about theories. Now this, we're talking is, <laughs> this is real young and shit I'm getting into. Now we're talking theories that just... Dude, so I... either that that's My whole thing is get that supplement and take it and tell me yeah. if I'm wrong. Because, dude, I like... What's the name of the supplement? It's called uh, Mike... Go- it's host defense, and it's just you just type in host defense brain. It's the one that has like lion's mane, go to cola, all this other stuff. Because I want to see if it's just me, because I definitely could probably like so you're just buying brain chemicals off the internet. Well, they're mushrooms and herbs, so nothing, it's nothing crazy. It's not like on it where it's like they're like, we're, are the Chinese making them? No, all made in America, bro. All right, all made in this America. This better be made in America. Bro. I only buy American when it comes to the shit I'm using for my brain. I really do only buy shit from America. Hell like, yeah. I would never be like, oh, yeah, look, like, let me go get even the yeah. stuff you gotta watch out for the stuff that's like harvested in China that, that's then bought by an American company. Those pesticides and shit, whatever the fuck those <sighs> are, dude. Yeah. It's just, I mean, you just don't fucking know. Yeah, who knows? Maybe it's the best, and you know, we're just being propagandized, but I, 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 maybe, I Chinese, highly, maybe Chinese are killing it. Highly doubt. I bet there's not too many sad Chinese boys. They're just working. No, they're, they, they fucking... just lower their head and keep moving. No, dude, the drone China... mentality. No, you the Chinese boys. I, well, I don't know if it's Japan. No, they, I think there's a pretty decent suicide rate. Oh, Japan, they'll fucking Japan will end definitely it quick, seppuku dude. out. But that's just for honor. No, they're not sad. They probably get cryptically no, depressed. No, and kill that's just themselves. honor. They like if they like stub their toe on a date. And then it's like, like, oh, oh, this honor be. Go right to the woods, dude. Yeah, just walk straight. Just be like, <clears throat> fuck. Excuse me. <laughs> just get up from the table and go fucking hang. Dude. Yeah. I said, I like, so I was like in my head, I'm like, I'm just going to continue doing what I'm, I'm in my kitchen, like cleaning up and doing the dishes. I'm like, I'm going to continue doing this till I can't. And like, yeah. dude, this thing hit me to the point where I just literally like couldn't, th- you know, when you can't hold on to a thought, you're, you're so high. It's like, yeah. you're thinking and then like it flashes and you're like, I have no idea. I what just, was that? I have been thinking about something so in depth, and now I don't know what it is. And I was just like, 
going it's just like weird i'll be like looking around at my house and everything about it is just like right, so you have like dementia dude <laughs> yeah, yeah basically <laughs> so then but i go i sit on my couch you know I'm, I'm just chilling i'm doing my thing and i got hung up on like the thought of poor people for like dude a good like 30 minutes of thinking oh. about people who are actually like just the idea of living in poverty and Bro. legitimately not knowing how to escape it and everyone around you has no fucking clue like you just you come out in the morning like smoke a blunt you're just standing there with face tattoos like I'm definitely I gotta get paid you just have yeah. no idea and anyone you ask is just like you gotta get hits paid. you with advice that's the most like just destructive worst fucking advice and you're just in a state of like total confusion yeah like or you or you like you get to the point you're nine and you're just like holy fuck my mom sucks dude oh man like my mom fucking sucks like you your know boy, you, your boy Louis J ran into that. Really? Yeah, when he was a kid, he was like, oh, my mom's a loser. Exactly, yeah. dude. Exactly. Yeah. At least when you're, like, your parents have, like, you get to have that extended to where, like, finally you hit, like, young adulthood. And you're like, oh, wait, like, adults don't really know what's going on. Yeah. You're, like, nine being like, my mom fucking sucks, dude. Yeah. Like, she, like, can't constantly miss work. My mom's, like, getting fired. Dad's fired. My dad's passed. Like, I was down, came down Kensington Ave today at, like, 8 a.m. Dude, it's just, like. Dude's dipping out. It's fucking wild, man. Crazy. And wild. it's like then you they like be poor and your whole family's ever been, like just all been stuck in that and you just literally cannot th- imagine or think of and a way out. And you're dumb because it's, no one's ever given too. you any education. You're dumb or you're just dumb like your brain's fucked up from god knows what your mom was doing and you're just sitting there just like sitting on a step Bro. staring at people drive by and you're just there's like aliens coming by. I was by with you. uh Mall Dog last night. Really? Fucking Mullen, he was telling me he had gotten off the subway. On the subway there, a lady was, like, screaming at her clearly retarded son. Like, screaming, like, I'm going to uh, fuck you up. Uh, and then she started bashing his head against the fucking window what? of the subway. What yeah, the fuck? Yeah, dude. Dog stepped in. Did he really? Yeah. What was he like? What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, he was like, you got to stop. You can't do that. Like, yeah. On a train of people just sitting there. Yeah, because most and people... And I was like, dude, you should be proud of that. That's like... It's a nice thing he to like, do. He was like, no, of course, that's what I had to do. And I'm like, well, no one else did it. No. Like, that's that takes some fucking balls. Yeah. I mean, I would hope I would do it, but you know. Well, a lot was this a black lady? Yeah. A lot that's of white thing. dudes are real scared to exactly. go up to it and be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing? And and uh, some Puerto Rican dude, like, filmed it. <laughs> so he, like, <laughs> sat down, and the guy was like, yo, don't worry, I got it all on tape. I got it. And he was like, now he was, like, anxious about that tape getting released of him, like, scolding a black lady on how to be a mother. Like, if you didn't see the full tape of her bashing the kid's head, yeah, it just looks like a white dude explaining, like, you need to treat your kid better. Look yeah, at you. Why was the guy... So the guy was like, I don't worry, I got it all. It's like, I yeah, wasn't was worried. Like, don't I worry, wasn't I got worried. you, bro. I wasn't worried about the yeah. footage being Anyway, captured. if I ruin Mullen's story whenever he tells it, maybe. But, That's fucking yeah. crazy, dude. You, you see shit like that, and you're just kind of like, what the fuck? But yeah, yeah. man, that was like... Plus being poor like that, and it, I'll tell you where I see it the most. Where? T- TikTok. You see poor people <laughs> acting see, up? Well, <laughs> you see the poors, dude. Because yeah, the poors, they still have smartphones now, which is sick. Yeah, it's, it's good. good. The one thing we did help the poor with is now they all have smartphones. True. So now we get to see them film <laughs> dumb shit they're doing. But uh, yeah, every TikTok is like a different form of retarded person. You can't imagine. Like every, because it's all like quick little clips. Yeah, the next course. person's uglier and more retarded than you've ever imagined. <laughs> like you can't be like, I did, you like every face you see. You're like, holy fuck, I've never seen that. Yeah. Every person, I'm like, I've never seen that face. <laughs> I've never seen that variety. I've never seen that type of I've human. never seen that variety of person. And the, the, yeah, I mean, and the, the their houses all look the same. Yeah. They're all like fucking dirty, shitty thing, like a TV yeah, without a TV stand, wood paneling fucking walls with like yeah, a piece dude. of paper tacked to it. And you're watching TV all day of just like another world where you're just like, whoa, this is fucking yeah. crazy. And dude, to like, to get a like... To like run away from a poor person, all you have to do is like leave the state, and they can never find you. Just never disappear, you. dude. Yeah. Their RPG map just blacks out. <laughs> yeah. Like you gotta get around a zip code. It's like in order for them to get to you, all they can do is take a bus to your general vicinity and like hop out, just look around the bus stop, and like fuck, I didn't see them. Start and hop making back some on the new bus. TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> dude, like you could run away from them so easily. Yeah, escaping the poor's is very easy. All you gotta do is literally go to a different zip code. Build a fucking gated community. <laughs> build a wall, dude. That's build true. a wall. The poor's that's can't true, get in. Dude. Get one security guard that's like, hey, can, get out of here. You can someone could give them your address and they'd be like they'd have to like take a train, take a bus. It Nothing. would take them like nineteen different vehicles to get to you. 
then they'd have to catch you while you're there. The Boars do have a tough time traveling. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's <laughs> tough. Fucking tough time. Dude, dude, I was on my couch just thinking about all this, just being like, Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Yeah. And just can never get out of it. Yeah, you're you're fucking stuck. Literally, you're literally stuck. Yeah, and it's like, you again, you're getting no education. <laughs> Chances are your parents are fucking retards, so they're also like. Just filling you with horrible advice. You don't even advice. need to go to school. Yeah. They're not paying attention. Hitting you with horrible advice. <sighs> just abusing you and neglecting you. And, yeah. and, 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 and best case scenario, sticking around and just giving you what are, again, there's probably obviously exceptions to this, but on like in mass, just like yeah. terrible fucking advice. Definitely. It's like, fuck that. Yeah. You don't got to go. Fuck that. Tell that teacher to suck your dick. <laughs> yeah, hey, you tell that fucking teacher to come down here. I'll fuck, him. I'll fuck her. I'll fuck her mouth. She's got a nice mouth. Yeah, dude. It's like. Thanks, Dad. Having like a tap out dad, dude. It's just like a flick. <laughs> having a hard tap out dad. I mean, you got a coach. Your dad pauses Tic Tac. He's like, what'd your fucking bitch you coming home say? to a fucking Coach Corey Wayne? A fucking TikTok Corey Wayne? <laughs> it's like, why do good girls like bad guys? I'm a bad boy. It's just like, you tell your teacher to shut the fuck up. Oh, my God. Imagine seeing your dad drinking energy drink. <laughs> Like coming over, your dad's chugging a monster. It's like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah, man. Dude, that's so fucking funny. If I see my dad eating like a treat, I call him a faggot. Like, what are you eating candy, dude? Oh, it's so fucking yeah. funny. My dad's got, he's got an ice cream sweet, too. Yeah, imagine your dad. Oh, we'll fucking course, hit some dude. ice cream out of the, just straight out of the fucking. Of course. Standing dude. in the kitchen. Dude, like, what are you doing over there? Mother- my dad has like type 2 diabetes, and he literally, he just can't not eat sweets. Gotta eat sweet treats. He came out the other day. Was Did it, you got uh, booze? No, he quit drinking. Ah, that's why he's got that sweet tooth. Yeah, dude, yeah, that's, that's actually kind of funny. That's hilarious. You need that. You need the sugar. Ah, uh, that's crazy. Yeah, because he yeah. he goes ham. You'll like... notice that dudes will quit stuff and just crush like soda. Yeah, that yeah makes a, lot sense. Of, a lot of booze. Not that it's the sugar, but like Diet Coke. You see a lot of that. Yeah, with like alcoholics. Yeah, he goes super hard just on straight sugar. Like he, cigs. Diet soda is too gay yeah. for him, and he doesn't smoke cigs. Like he he like really when people put like flavored shit he freaks out. If they put like flavored hazelnut in their coffee he like gets pissed off. But he'll he'll put some. But he just puts cream in his coffee. Yeah. But he'll eat like he'll put down a half gallon of ice cream like piece of cake. <laughs> yeah, that's nothing. Some, that's money. That's good. That's good, I, dude. Dude. He came out the other and he has to sneak him by my mom because he has like he has like watch his sugar levels. Yeah. So like he came out. We were at a Memorial Day party. And he walked out. He had the old hook claw with like six cookies yeah, lined up. <laughs> I know that hook. He had the old pimp hook curled up. And like <laughs> yeah. he was holding one treat to like catch my mom's eye, and he had six cookies in the other yeah, hand. He sat out there and just fucking crushed them. Yeah, dude. I, mean, I, I don't. I don't get ice cream because I know where that leads. What? I would crush ice cream. I see, so I, good. I used to eat a pint a day. Ice cream is so fucking good. Oh no, I didn't eat a pint a day. I ate. It. I used to go to Ben and Jerry's every single day and get a cone. I was just like, yeah, ice cream's fucking cool, and I just immediately, dude, fucking yeah. That's why I have this frame I have right now, dude. I have a, a very have a Ben and Jerry enriched frame. Very regal frame, dude. I have king body. I have a king. Body, I have king dude. body. What dude. are you talking about? You have you have absolute king body, but I have like remnants of king body. You, you used to have king body. Now you're just a sham. Well, it's, it's still I'm cursed with my. I have these really regal. I have a very regal midsection, dude, that I can't <laughs> yeah. shake. No matter. I go to the yeah, gym man. every day, but my fucking royal jeans, dude, won't let the fat come around my waist. No, that's good. You now need I that love fat. it. Yeah. Now you're I'm like, that this is fucking sick. That's an extra tank. That's your nos for sure. <laughs> <laughs> the boy, yeah, I got. Loaded of knots. King body is the shit, dude. If you work out all the time and you just have like a fucking like a little, nice thick like midsection, that's my best part of me. My hi- my powerful hips, dude. Yeah, you do have thick hips, dude. Dude, it was crazy. If I had, if I honestly had more of a king body, I could have slept outside. But if I would have, I would have had a shirt off. <laughs> I would have been laying out there. That's my that's my favorite. But thing a true right king now. will never sleep outside. True that. True king. I know. If we, a king went on like a hunting expedition. He like took a Even week. then, I have a nice tent set up with like a couch, True that. True. some rugs, some fine rugs, a fucking True that. chalice for a, full of Bud Light. That's true. My fucking dip chalice. Yes, dude. No, nah, true that, dude. And, and true kings have pale, milky thighs, dude. <laughs> My skin, how dare the sun even fucking look at me? I'm too powerful for the sun. Dude, dude my, I, was, uh, I was with Brittany yesterday, and she, I forget how we even came to this. But also she was, a thick mane of pubes oh, dude, nestled sure. in between Never. her milky white thighs, dude. <laughs> I have a very, like, I have a very... I have uh, a very regal <laughs> penis. It's like a lion's mane around that I have thing. a very Hellenized penis. Yeah, very Greco. Mine's, re- mine's very Greco. Like when I like Paul, when I'm naked, dude, I have like a perfectly, I have a classical, yeah, Greco Roman penis. It's as though fucking 
Yeah. David Ibsen, Michelangelo <laughs> chiseled your dog. Yeah, chiseled. I don't know what I'm doing, dude. I can't name one sculptor. Dude, I think Michelangelo. Who's, yeah, right? I mean, in, who did in, David? Who did the statue of David? That would be what Greek? No, that was Rome. It was a no. It, it was during the Renaissance, but a lot of it was Roman inspired. We don't know anything. We don't know. I just we know, know I'm shit, very dude. sculptors are gay. Very uh, Hellenic penis. Very. Dude. That's the first thing I noticed about you. For sure, dude. I saw your bulge. I'm like, like a fucking. I'm a. St- I'm like a Greek god, dude. I'm like, did you ever check out Dionysus, the statue I sent you today? Yeah, it, yeah, it shows yeah, yeah. Pe- It's just like nothing but microbirds, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's. Somebody told me we might have discussed. You it. were smart if you had a microbird. If you had a microbird, you were, and that that theory again, we've uncovered that theory ourselves. For sure, microbirds control the world. Oh, definitely. If you dude. got a microbird, you are fueled. For sure. Oh, that's that's dude. your fucking rocket fuel to be like, I gotta kill everyone. If you have, if you had like a legitimate microbird, not a penis, dude, a legitimate medical microbird, they literally call them micro penis. Which first yeah. of all is like hilarious. It's such <laughs> yeah, a fight. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might, I might try to get that removed. Micro penis? Yeah, they, you can't That's even. Tough. Now it's like uh, a macro, macro a penis, macro penis, big time. Mine's, dude. Mine's is a. I pack a like a standard issue penis that just gives me the military a military standard issue. Te- at, at, at ease. It's tenis. Tenis, exactly. Full tenis. <laughs> yeah, dude. Then when it's time, it fucking pops up. It's dude. going. It's fucking nutsack weather, too. You got that Yo, pump, dude, long you got nutsack nice, hanging. You got some nice nuts, dude. Dude, when it's... I forget. I forget. And During this, the winter, this, my nutsack just is uptight, dude. Dude, this... Time, again, if you're... Summer comes in this out, hot my weather, sack is... Whew. This is the peak of my flaccid penis. If I get, like, a nice little hang time, I'm like... Yeah. I'm so, I'm actually, like, legitimately stoked. Thick. When I, thick when, when you I wake like up, go to, exactly when you right. wake up in a hot room, it's like warm in your room. You got a thick bird waiting. Don't wake for me you. up, mom. Do don't not. wake me up. I don't have a tennis, ma. Sorry, ma. Sorry, ma. <laughs> your boy became a man. You can't wake me up today. Sorry, it's hot out, ma, and I don't have a tennis. Yep. Do not rouse me. I do not have a tennis. You don't tell me what to do anymore. That's it. Yeah. As soon as you get a thick bird, you don't have to listen to anybody. Nah, that's why dude. you need a tennis to control the world. For sure. You need to be able to take orders. That's like, dude, there's like a fire raging behind you. Oh, yeah. They have like... If you have a thick bird, no one can tell you anything. It's not even like all... You can't even say like... Uh, like they're, they're, they're doing it now to where like if... Uh, I think it's a good thing, but it's like with autism, rather than trying to cure it, they're just trying to like embrace it. They call it like neurodiversity. So they're like really sensitive around all this stuff, but they're still like, oh, what, micro penis? And it's like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like yeah, no yeah, mercy yeah. on that, dude. Yeah. That should be like top priority. Yeah. You should be like, what, Safe micro space? brain? You got a fucking <laughs> micro brain, dude. You got a dumb, small brain. <laughs> they go a micro penis. And they're like, in the meantime, they're like, well, there's like literally a debate with autism. We're like, why are we trying to cure I'm this? all for leaning into people with autism and just being like, yeah, I just don't like that guy. He sucks to be around. I've, I'm all about <laughs> being like, these guys fucking rule. Although dudes with autism tend to be dude, sick to be I've around. Never, I've never been like, fuck, man. Yeah. I'm always like, yes. These yeah, dudes you embrace are so the fucking culture. funny. I mean, I'm fucking part autistic. So you it's have. like, I fucking love it. They they're the f- I think they're hilarious, but it's just so funny how microbirds get no quarter, dude. Microbirds, yeah. There's no mercy, dude. If there was a similar thing with women, it wouldn't be called like teeny yeah. weeny vagini, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You got big fat pussy. Yeah, you, got, you got a thick puss. What do they call that? Is there like a giant pussy? Yeah, that's it. There's giant pussy. Yeah, it's got a big old pussy. Doctor you go to the doctor, he fucking lifts up a clipboard. He's like, oh, you, it appears here you have giant pussy. It appears you got a little pudding in your panties, man. <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. You got that pudding? You got a fat old. You got fat. I'm, I'm going to stop there. Yeah, we got what we call a chunky monkey. You got a fat old <laughs> monkey. Let me see that monkey, girl. We got a fat one. God that was damn. the best thing rappers ever did was start calling pussy monkeys, dude. Look, you and that monkey. That's so fucking. Uh, calling a pussy a monkey is my favorite thing in the world. Yeah, that's. Uh, God. That's my. Fu- that's the motherfucker. That's your shit, dude. dude. That's my motherfucker. That's your shit, dude. I watched Teen Witch this weekend. Hell yeah! Did you ever see Teen Witch? No, dude, fuck no. It is the. So I've been watching Twin Peaks a lot, and which, dude, I know I, I, that was I'm, that was the night. Whatever night I texted you, be like, I feel bad. Twin about Peaks it. is I, the best. That's I the actually, night I was high dude, on my couch watch. I dude, like. I was dry on my way here. I was like, how have I not watched Blue Velvet yet? Dude, it's so like good. Matt is asking me it's so every good. time I see him to watch it, and it's, I'm still like, "It's so good." Dude. I just gotta watch it. Blue Velvet's so fucking good. What's it on Amazon? Amazon Prime. I'll dude. watch it tonight. It is so fucking good. Yes, Twin Peaks I think is fantastic, but the uh, so I, I'm like, you know, it's like an older show, and like Brittany will watch it with me, and I think she tried to like, I know an older movie we can watch together. Like it was like kind of like. She was like, we can watch. You know, she like came up with an older movie to watch, and it was Tween or Teen Witch. 
dude. So I'm watching this. I'm like, she she watches some shit that like typically whenever I talk about bad movies I watch, I'm watching with Brittany, which is funny. People are like, you watch the worst fucking movies. I'm like, just watching them with my fucking girlfriend. But I do also, I'll anything with a storyline, I will get caught into. But man, I'm I, I'm sorry to cut you off. I I forgot to mention this. I'm. I love your mind. Sure. I love that anything with a storyline hooks you in. You're Instantly. like, I got to see where this goes. <laughs> Instantly. You got to, you, and the fact that you just hang out by yourself and see how high you can get. <laughs> like, you're your own best friend. Like, you just Pretty hang much. out. That's great. Dude, anyway, I was, so I was explaining, Teen Witch. yeah, I'll get back to that. Um, of your point. The, uh, thank you. Yeah, man. So I'm watching Teen Witch. I'm Wh- jealous. I fucking, if I'm by myself, I, I typically hate myself. Really? Yeah. I'm, I'm my, it's, I, no, it's no surprise to me. I am my own worst enemy, dude. Well, to be fair, it's it's the opposite. If I just Every go out, if I, I go out in public, that's I just, just kick the living shit out of me. Do you really? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, singing, singing singing lit. <laughs> <laughs> but the trade off is I go out in the public and I'm like, Whoa. true. So it's like <laughs> when I'm by myself, I'm like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> the uh, but so I watched Teen Witch and I'm like, it, it was like, like again, there's movies I can I'll watch with her and I can at least like get hooked into it and just follow them. This movie was so, it was so unbelievably bad. That I was like, there, there had like I started like researching it while I was watching it, dude. It was a twenty-five million dollar, or no, no, excuse me, two point five million. It was in nineteen eighty-nine, two point five million dollar budget. Guess how much it grossed in the opening weekend? Thirty-five hundred dollars. What? Thirty-five hundred dollars. <laughs> and then it, I think it made like thirty-seven thousand in its entire. Th- and then it got like they immediately pulled it from the theaters. Then it became like a cult classic. It's so bad, but dude, they. So they're like they're trying Wait, it's to be so bad that it's a cult classic, and yeah. she was yes. like, this "It's like is one good. of those movies people watch." But she was just like, "Oh, I remember watching this, and I liked this when I was little, dude." Yeah. yeah, yeah. So like, she put it on, and I was like, "This is like next level." Like, that happens. Free, it was every single cliche you could possibly think of. Yeah. Put into a movie, and like you know, it's it's all white people, but the popular kids, like how they how they show popular kids. It's just white people rapping, but it's like that old school, like eighties rap. Yeah, and like dude, they, they yo it, everybody, dude. It is we're about to so, do homework, dude. It is so fucking funny oh. to watch the scenes from that, and then like the one part they like, it's like a it'll like break into like almost semi musical numbers at points. Then at one point, like they're rapping and they just have like in the car, there's just two Mexican guys with like cholo buttoned all the top and unbuttoned, like just like dancing, dude. It is fucking crazy. It's so bad. It's like literally. All of those are bad, though. I'm sure that's exceptionally bad. That sounds like. That's another. It le- sounds it's, like chaos. It's, it's another level. Dude, I watched watch Mighty Ducks. Did you really? The movie stinks. <laughs> really- it's so bad. I was cheering for the Hawks, the bad guys. Were you really? The bad team was awesome. They beat them. All black uniforms, fucking sick. Their coach yeah. was the man. Like Little Giants, sim- yeah. similar thing. Very true. Like a bigger, cooler team. Yeah. Like an actual fucking team. And then versus this like co-ed group of like. Yeah, I wonder when that happened. Misfits. I wonder Why when that, that happened. Cool? When that became like. Nah, dude, I was cheering for the team. It's like they're out there working hard. Yeah, dude. They're running plays. Perfecting fucking, their game. The coach demands excellence. I wonder when that got brought into like stories of like, you don't have to be good at sports to win. Yeah. It's like, come on, guys, just be friends and then come up with a trick play right at the end. Yeah, it's like, no, you're going to get crushed, dude. Yeah, they should have got the fucking shit beat out of them. <laughs> the one, the best player gets taken out. The Hawks have a goon. Yeah. Oh, yeah, in. yeah, yeah. His name's McGill, just a big Irish goon. Fucked him up. It's great. He fucking puts him into the post, <laughs> breaks his shoulder. <laughs> and then one of the, one of his teammates is like, what'd you do, man? And he's like, I did my job. Like, Fuck yeah, dude. Fuck yeah. And then he goes into the penalty box. Coach comes over and is like, hell nice, yeah. Nice, dude. I nice. actually kind of remember you that. did yeah. exactly what I told you to do. That's sick. It's pretty great. Dude, that kid at a young age was like, I'm doing what the fuck I was told to do. Yeah, duty bound. Fuck this kid up. That's, we need more kids like that yeah. in America. He was a duty bound young man. Yes. Who, you know. Got they over almost stuff. definitely had a fucking tenis. <laughs> McGill? You think of McGill? Big McGill? Big McGill had a tenis, trust me. I can go either way. Nah, if he's listening to orders like that, that's uh, a tenis. Yeah, he had a thick he... hog, he'd be like, what, man? He's cool. Thick I don't know. Tenis. You get some, you you get tiny... some thick, aggressive hogs, dude. <laughs> yeah, hogs run <laughs> wild, dude. That's a... You better avoid that. You can get some costs. compassionate tenis behavior. True. You think Jesus had a tenis Jesus or a hog? Jesus had a hog. hog. You think that was hog, yeah. hog behavior? True. Big time hog baby. A lot of, there was a lot of. You can fucking kill me. I don't care. Whatever. True. But, yeah. Yeah. True that. Like, if he had a penis, he'd be like, "No, not me, please. Don't yeah. kill me." So you think you think more like big dickness is more like the like a Christ figure would have a big dick. True. Yes. Trump daddy. 
True, he's basically modern day Christ. <laughs> he is modern day Christ with a <laughs> thick dong. No, if you have a penis, you're fucking you're a coward. You're ready to fucking slink out of there. Yeah, I don't know. You get a lot of brave a lot of the Greek leaders had penises and there were some motherfuckers, dude. A lot of conquerors. Mm, a lot of conquerors did have penises, but they were in the back. That's funny. They had dongs. And were like, make my fucking dick smaller. Like, don't you know? Yeah. They're like trying to do it. They're yeah, like, while they're sculpting. They're deep. Like, they're deep. <laughs> you're trying to make me look like a fucking idiot. <laughs> <laughs> make me look dumb, dude. Suck that bird back into my body. <laughs> yeah. Take a good chunk out of that thing. That's dude. That is so funny to think about the dongs that were lost in history. Because all it's like, there's no way all those leaders had fucking teenies, teenies dude. Teen I. I don't know, man. If you're standing still. For a pose, yeah, but dude, giving the guy the image, or no AC, like, no AC. I mean, AC? obviously, you're not posing for a sculpture. The balls aren't hanging down. <laughs> if you <laughs> pose for a sculpture, it'd be like four years. Yeah, exactly. The balls aren't hanging down at all. In like a no AC, fucking like Sparta or Rome. It's hot as fuck. Everyone's sweating. You're telling me that thing shrunk up. That that was definitely doing them a favor. Yeah, like, they look. loved boy dick too. So, you know, true. Maybe that's like throwing big tits on a chick now. <laughs> It's like, give me a boy dick. Give me a, what's that thing everyone loves? Oh yeah, boy dick. Make sure I have a boy's dick. Give me a teeny little, yeah, dude, a tight boy butt. The dong's lost in history, dude. The control. dong's, yeah, that's too fucking funny, dude. Yeah, what you were—it was funny what you were saying about like sitting by yourself or how I sit by myself. I was like, I was talking to my therapist and I was explaining this. I was like, I get as high as I can, then I navigate that. And she like framed it in all these crazy ways of like you're accessing emotions that are like you're not available to you, and they all come cascading. She like explained it in this like wild way, and I was literally just like, "Yeah, that's exactly what I do for fun." <laughs> she was just right. like, "Uh, get, dude, get your therapist laugh." That's that's my favorite thing. Yeah. In the world. So you're tapping into emotions that otherwise you would be afraid to confront. No, she's like, no, it's more or less like a um, a dissociation thing, where like you okay. unconsciously dissociate from your emotions that are pretty much a lot of dudes do this, where you have like just. I was actually talking to my friend about this. You have like. Like, if you try to, like, express your emotions to, like, your girlfriend, they're sitting there like, this fucking retard. Yeah. Because you, you just don't have the vocab. You, like, don't have, like, access in the training yeah. vocabulary to express don't yourself. Don't like that picture on Instagram. <laughs> and, uh, because you're slut. Or, you're or, slut. If you're, or if you're, like, you, you're, like, I feel a certain way. Now I'm going to communicate the feeling. You're, like, I, uh, uh, I don't, like, uh, sometimes, uh, 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 uh. And it's, like, yeah. you, I, I can't never get the words out. That's like when girls like sit there and tell you about your day. You're like, oh my god, like, oh my the-. god, like when they try to tell you about their situation at work, and you're just like, you can see the necessary answer in your head, like from a mile away. And like, well, I'll just do that. And yeah. It's like the same thing when you're Bro, like trying to express yourself. I was talking about that with uh, Andy Malafreno. I was talking about uh, my ex would tell me stories mm-hmm. and like start talking to me, and I, I, I would try to fucking listen. Yeah. And I couldn't. I would literally block it out. Like eye contact and everything. I'd just be like, <laughs> come on, listen to this story. And See he, if he, you can listen to this couldn't story. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And I always thought that was like a hack, like, yeah. bit about how like men never listen. Mm-hmm. It's totally true. Yeah. If, exactly. you're, if your fucking BBG goes off on a story, it's you're tough. just stuck in this, like. Yeah, you got to wrangle it. You got to wrangle get that them fucking, hard. like. Saving Private Ryan ringing in your ears. You're just <laughs> slow mo staring at this story. You know, it, oh. after like the sixth, and then, and then, and then, and then. Oh, by the way, da 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 da. And like, it's just, not even like I'm. Not, it's just like holy shit. Yeah, dude. This that, is still going. They're dude. They're navigating a sea of just like chaotic emotions all day long, and then you know we're pretty much just like. Yeah. For the most part, just chilling. I'm pretty much like, get damn, it's so like, sick. I got Kevin Durant on my NBA 2K team. <laughs> yeah. Can't wait to play that soon. Yeah. Eventually, I'm going to play that for six You'll hours. You'll get like, objectively anxious, objectively depressed. And meanwhile, they're navigating this, like, this fucking realm of shit that like, cannot even be, you can't even Their comprehend. Their pussies are always broken, and they're always like, yeah, they're always crazy. Vaginas yeah. break down big time, dude. Yeah, dude. Those things are off and on. You find them on the side of the road, you dude. You see just a sniz laying there. Yeah, dude. They, they have, they're... Six black dudes standing outside of it on a highway. <laughs> just like, <laughs> on, the way to, on the way here. Yeah, black dudes' cars just... That's another thing we were talking about. I mean, it's tough for poor people to travel. Like, poor people's cars oh, just okay. shit out It's constantly. like the DeLorean, dude. At any, <laughs> yeah. any minute, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, and then you're back in time. Now it's like, oh, fuck, it's before cars. It's yeah, any minute again. they can fucking go. Yep. Here like... come the cops. They're mad at us for being dude, here. Dude, me and my, me and my brother... <laughs> Yeah, the cops come out. Get the fuck out of here! Yeah. Like, oh, I'm fucking poor. Me, me and my brother had, ah, oh, fuck. I think they're 88 Camrys or 92 Camrys. I forget. We bought them two Camrys, twins for a thousand bucks. And dude, these things were fall. I sold mine to a junkyard. My brother sold his to this lady, 
who and like, dude, you would turn to see him and go, and this lady was like, thank you so much. We sold it to her for like two hundred dollars, and she oh. that was the family whip, put her kids in it, and I was like, oh, oh my god, yeah, dude. Yeah, they. Again, I drive a lot, and on the way here, I saw <laughs> an entire lane blocked leaving New York. So, tons of traffic. Yeah, just a family stuck. Ugh. Car broke down. They're literally just standing in the highway. Yeah, dude. It's like holy fuck, man. It sucks. Oh my god. And that literally, then you don't have a car. And then you're like, it's just then now it's like we gotta get somehow we gotta some afford member, yeah. transportation to get off this highway. Yeah, dude. We'd like to call a cab that's gonna be a hundred fifty dollars to get us home. <laughs> yeah. And now we're just in the house. Yep. Family is hanging out. Dude, I we would... We tried to leave the city. <laughs> and we, we failed. I would try to help people with housing. And I this one lady would like... They would... She would just talk about like... Uh, when like, I would like explain like, all right, here's what you need to do for housing. Here's how much you make. Here's how much you'll be able to afford. If you want to have a place that's for more money, you have to get a job that gives you more money. Because like if you make nine fifty an hour... The most you'll be able to afford with rent is like six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars a month is a stretch, and people will be like, "Well, I need like a three bedroom," and I'm like, "You can't have that yeah. until you have maybe I don't know twelve dollars an hour, dude." These guys would be like, "How am I gonna get a job for twelve dollars an hour?" I'm like, "You gotta fucking look for jobs, dude." Like, dude, it's yeah. like it's wild, and it's just it's like it's a wild thing to come. And then you'll see people who come out of it, and they just you know they can get out of it, grab a couple jobs, or making like a G a week, you know, they do their thing, but yeah. it's like. Dude, it's it's fucking crazy. I'd be fucked if I if I was if I grew up poor. I'd be totally. I'd be fucked. fucking toasted, dude. With my work ethic, <laughs> I wouldn't have left that house. I'd be toasted. Whatever dude. house I was in, I'd still be in it. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd still be, be having... sitting there. I'd be playing two K though. You'd be chilling. I'd have Kevin Durant. I always wonder, and again, this could just be me making this up, but it, maybe it is liberating on some level just to, to be, be like fuck everything. Yeah, yeah no one's like if you're just like not dead. Everyone's like, hey, nice job. Yeah, if you're an idiot, yeah, being yeah. an idiot's the best. Yeah, you don't have any. You're like, this is great. You're Everything's like, great right you, now. You're like, just fucking hit the Xbox all day, every yeah. day. And John Cena's like, back. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching Undertaker highlights. I mean, dude, imagine that. Like, you have all your say you're on government assistance. All your money's coming in from the government, and all you have going on in your life is just shit that happens on TV, and you can get stoked on it. Yeah, and I, I'm sure there's little like you know you have your I'm little. Sure there's immediate... moments of like <laughs> you just break out of it for one second. Like, there's a whole world out there that I'm gonna die. <laughs> You take a weed out of bowl and you're just like, oh, there's a whole world. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and it's like back to, I got to get to 7-Eleven. I got to get a fucking big slushy. I need a roller dog and a slushy. I need a roller now, dog dude. and a slushy. Pack of cigarettes. Yeah. And then I'm back in the house. Hell I mean, yeah. It, it, dude, I, I was coming through, uh, I told you, I've been listening to nothing but tribal drums now for the last like three days. Oh, you weren't kidding. I wasn't kidding. I, I, I laughed hard at that. I only, I only listen, to, I've been only listening to tribal drums because I was like, I was listening to. What the fuck to, are you doing? Well, here's the thing. So I, I I'll go to the gym and I'm listening to I usually listen to rap to pump myself yeah. up while I'm at the gym, especially if I don't feel like being there. Yeah. And I was like, I, I can't be. I need to be accessing this from within myself, dude. Yeah. So I started doing no music, and I'm like, I need something. Excuse me. Started listening to tribal <laughs> drums. Started listening to tribal drums, dude. Yeah. And I'm, I I like really really like it. Just like the actual, um, just literally just like the the drum beats and stuff. Yeah. So I'm listening. I'm like, this shit fucking rules, dude. So I was doing. I have a whole new gym. I started it today where I'll do like a, a gym regiment where I'll, I'll listen to it and then do the jump rope. Eyes closed, dude. It's fucking sick. So I'm just, you know, I'm just around the fire, dude. I'm around the fire with my eyes closed, jumping, jump, jumping around, dude, with all my fucking, <laughs> but dude, today I'm doing the battle ropes. So I'm, I'm doing those ropes and I'm like, as I'm doing them, I'm like making sure no one's looking and I'm like <laughs> pretending I'm playing the drums. Oh man. <laughs> with the battle ropes. Well, dude, it was like guitar hero in real life. So like, the little like curvy lines. If you do battle ropes, oh, would represent. So it's the... little curvy lines when I'm doing it. It was like excellent streak, and dude, it was. I was. I must have been doing you it for like are facts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was doing it for like five minutes straight, just in a trance. Like, oh my god, oh my god, oh, look at, uh. wow, dude, so fucking awesome. What a fucking life, man. It was so stupid then, but today the whole reason I thought about this, I was coming down Kensington Avenue today. I'm listening to my tribal drums. I'm watching this like fucking heroin addicts just walking around starting the day, and I'm like, dude, this is like a fucking village. This is like third world conditions around here, because in, in my yeah. I had like the soundtrack going. And I'm watching people just like carry odd shit, just like walking what, around like Kensington. Yeah, man. Yeah, dude. I'm like, dude. fucking house collapse the other day. <laughs> yeah. so fucking one of those shacks. Just Bro, fell. I'm telling you, it's insane. I'm like, dude, there's a guy in Kensington that has a Trump fortress. What? He's a Trump for it. There's a dude, dude, Stop, Kensington dude. loves Trump. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> it's all white trash. I mean, it's like the seat of white trash. That is, yeah, dude. But he has a he oh, has a lot of there's a lot of Hispanics up there too. Trump flags, Trump 
every his Kensington's whole Kensington's a true melting pot of just like multi ethnic yeah. failure. Yeah. Pretty much. It's literally it's like uh it's like the five points in Gangs of New York. <laughs> yes. It's just it's yes, a dude. slum of people fighting and just It's well represented. There's a ton of like yeah. different kinds of people in there. It's a whole world of shit. It's fucking it has crazy. nothing to do with race. You're just shitty. No, dude. Yeah. That was that was my thing too. I'm driving around, I'm like, dude. Try hitting one like I get the concept of white privilege on when I think a lot of it has to do with just like money and economics, but like mm-hmm. hit one I'm watching these dudes walking down the street like just you know, some of the guys weren't even nodding out. Like yeah. one guy was like selling fruit, he had like a little stand. I'm like looking at him, I'm like, like this guy in his head is just like I know people buy fruit. I just put it in a little yeah. containers and sell it. I make enough money, but like hit that guy with to fucking buy more fruit. Hit that guy <laughs> with white privilege and just watch them be like, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, was, yeah. Well, that's because obviously white privilege, like you said, is the real white privilege is economic. Sure, yeah. But out like, in my head, I'm generational like, wealth, where I'm, it's like everybody in your family has gone to college or like sure, exactly. You know, because they other races weren't allowed. Dude, I was watching these guys just like, damn, dude, like, did you guys like fall from grace at one point, or did you like from the since your family's been in America, just, just no one for fucking shitty. five generations could just climb out of this muck? And I'm like, dude, that's fucking crazy. Well, it does, all it takes is one retarded. Yeah, man. Ancestor. Shirt sleeves to shirt, shirt sleeves to shirt sleeves. Shirt sleeves you just generations. need to want, like, say the first family, your first family when they arrived in America had four brothers. Yeah. One of them was a retarded guy. Sure. The three brothers went off and did their own thing. The retarded guy was just like, I'm going to live here. Stuck in the muck. I fucked a drunk, retarded lady at, <laughs> at a bar. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah, that's that's a lot of problems, too. With like Even with DHS, it's like. Maybe you should get into eugenics. Well, that was the big, that was the big <laughs> yeah, thing. That's back what they in the did. Day. Yeah, they were like, fucking, we got to. Nip all these guys in the bud. We gotta stop this. Fucking... Well, that was like, yeah, that was it was like what, like feeble, bad boys feeble, on... feeble mindedness. And yeah, all that bad shit. boys on TikTok. You gotta fucking you gonna chemically them? castrate you're gonna them. Shut them down, dude. <laughs> yeah. They can't be getting sniz. They're, they're getting sniz. They're dude. getting so much sniz. Well, that's that's the thing called dysgenesis, where they think like we're and we typically kind of are slowly getting dumber and dumber. Maybe. In, in in large numbers, we're getting there's like you know obviously we're getting you smarter. See idiocracy. Exactly. That's yeah. a real. That's based off that's of a real. That's, yeah, of course. Kind of happening. Sure. Nobody likes to talk about it, but it's like definitely true. For well, real. if you're fucking, you don't have a car, you're landlocked. You're just stuck in some fucking. It's Mad Max. You're like yeah, Mad Max. At some of course, point. you're gonna be fucking. <laughs> oh, that's true. That's. I mean, it's like I gotta get money and I gotta get head. Well, it's also every like, day. I mean, think about the. I don't know. I could also see fucking a sibling at that point. I understand that. Banging a cousin? Land- yeah, you're, you're stuck in a fucking shitty trailer all day? Also, dude, I mean, again, I'm coming down uh, Kensington Ave this morning. Every chick that I see is, like, least close possible. Eight in the yeah. morning, just like... And, dude, there's, like... There's literally, like, women there who are unsuccessfully trying to sell themselves. Like, I'm yeah. driving by the corner, and there's a lady, like, kind of dipping out, like, looking into my car, and I'm just like... I can honestly be like, no, thank you. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm cool on that. Yeah. Dude, it's like, it's fucking... Hey, good. honey, you want AIDS? Yeah. It's, it's like, like, oh, no. No, I'm, I'm good on that. But you want dude, a STD you didn't even imagine? And any, like, younger girl who's, like, somewhat attractive you see is just, like, tiny half shirt, ass hanging out. And it's like, that's that's the curse. <laughs> She's yeah, but up it, there. Dude, this is, like, real deal. Yeah, of course. You know, this is, like, yes. if I have, like, almost you have to do it. Yeah, man, that's some level. What a world, dude! But hey, the Eagles won the Super Bowl that one time. Exactly, they it all, all yeah, worth it. Everyone got it. <laughs> it was all worth it. It must have been party time in Kensington, <sighs> dude. When the birds won, bro, the fucking dosages were up. Oh, the bag, dude. People were fucking. Oh my god, dude. Just nodding extra hard. Just ee. give me that fentanyl, dude. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> how many Eagles fans do you think didn't get finished? Oh, look at all of them up there. A lot of them stopped. At how June. many people missed the end of the Super Bowl? They're just like, <sighs> oh my god, how many people in Philly missed the end of the Super Bowl? Was probably due to fucking an opiates. Insane level. I would think they got their hands on some fucking meth. Probably got their hands on some Christina. They're dude. fucking gonna up the dose tonight. They're gonna fire. Yeah, up. if you're if you're at Super, Super Bowl night, you're gonna fucking you get some uppers. You're gonna hit some Christina. And then after dude. the after the win. Take it down and notch. Let's lower it down. Let's turn the lights down a little. <laughs> dude, that shit this morning that that was like fucking crazy seeing that shit. Yeah, man. I just, yeah, I I couldn't. Yeah, it's rough. I couldn't believe it. It's it's rough to see. See the fucking the crisis in in person when you see the fucking opioid crisis. Yeah, it's wild. And again, just fucking people who are poor. It's like, dude, yeah, man. they've been that strain of people has been around. 
forever. And forever. I'm sure it changes. I'm sure it mutates and like people get out of that and they get up and then some people fall down into it. But I'm, sure. there has to be OG pores who have just been always forever poor, dude. Day one. Entire lineage. Poor as fuck. The untouchables. The whole <laughs> cast of fucking <laughs> Yeah, man. That's uh well, I was telling you that fucking book, uh, Dope Sick, that I, you know, every book I have, I read the first 30 pages. And then I'm like, What'd you get? Yeah, What'd I'm you get for the that. first 30? I'm reading that right now. <laughs> uh, I've been reading that for three years now. Uh, just more people are dying from the opioid crisis than AIDS in its prime. Yeah, that's something. That, like, it's like a huge fucking epidemic. That's something I get a lot of pushback from at school, where they're always like, and again, this is just that pretty much very tied in with the creaking cave where like or that that whole that shit from yeah, last you night liberal cunts. they talk about oh yeah they talk about the opioid crisis and they're like someone always has to be like well now that it's white people now that it's white people it's a problem it's a problem and of it's course. like okay fair enough however that, this is why i always say i'm like I, I totally get that my thing is like the crack epidemic was 30 years ago so yeah. we're, we're obviously more advanced in terms of stuff it's definitely white people also it was given to people by their doctors yeah. So again, these same people who are like just sitting there doing TikToks, not necessarily like investigating yeah. side effects and shit. This is what happens. They fake hurt their neck at work. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So they could make more TikToks. And then they <laughs> and then they go home and the doctor's like, "Here, take this for your fake neck and injury." Secret, the doctor secretly gave them heroin. Uh, that's another thing. The doctor's it's different. It, it is different. I tell in the book that. it talks about all the like the pharmaceutical reps and like how they sold it to for the sure. doctors and they, they were like it's not addictive. Oxycontin's totally non addictive, like rarely addictive, like all that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. And then these doctors were just dishing it out. Well, they also blame it on the, what is it, the Merkel family? Everyone uh, blames it on whatever they're called. I know who you're talking about. They all yes. blame it on that one. Purdue, f- it's like Purdue Pharma and the Merkel or something. There's some family that they always say, like, and these guys were Sackler? Ban- Sackler. Yeah, it is yeah, a Sackler, Sackler family. family. That's what it is. Yeah, it yeah. is a Sacklers. They blame where I got Merkel from. They blame it on Merkel, the Sacklers. Germany. What is it? Angela Merkel. Angela. I don't know. Who, oh, is that the Germany lady? The fucking new Hitler. She had her fucking hands in it. She's dude. the new Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> That's the name of the, the, America. We have president. German Germans have Hitlers. That's the new really. She's the, yeah. Oh, that's the new She's German Hitler. New Hitler. <laughs> dude. She, oh, hello, Hitler that's the new Merkel. Fuhrer. <laughs> yeah, dude. They uh, yeah, they all like blame that family, and I'm like, you're telling me these fucking like doctors. Pharmaceutical companies, no one, all of the research and lab assistants weren't able to look at the chemical compound. No, they and be found like, out. They knew. They so they, exactly. Like early, they, but they blame it, it on the, they all blame it on the Sacklers. It's like, ooh, so these companies have oh, these yeah. fucking people who know like, they're chemists, and they weren't be like looking at this thing, and being like, whoa, what the fuck? Yeah, it's this exactly is exactly like street heroin. This is heroin. So it's like, or enough to know like how they do. That was basically like um, how they do all the weird research drugs. We'll have like instead of LSD, it'll be like. 2, 3, CB, uh, all that bullshit. And the same with, like, you know, uh, Spice and K2. They yeah. did that with heroin. They, a research chemical, basically, that was very, very similar. Yeah. And then gave it to people. Like it's going to help you with your pain. Through a doctor. And yeah, it's people, and it's like, it's just, it is different. Like, I get it. They, they're changing the crime laws around it and all that stuff. But again, that was 30 years it started ago. started with, like, morphine and stuff back in, uh, and then they, oh, fuck, what was it? It wasn't morphine, but it was along that like cocaine. This ah, fuck. Delauded. Delauden. Delauded. It was delauded. It was something where Civil War soldiers were oh, all yeah, yeah. fucking junkies. It was a, what the fuck was it? It was yeah, it was morphine. Like I think. veterans. Fuck. There's a word for it too. I I'm forgetting it now, but it was yeah. like soldiers' disease it was basically like you were nodding. You, you were not fucked out. up. That's yeah. hilarious. Because all the veterans were coming back and they didn't know what PTSD was. So they hit him with some so fucking morphine. They were just feet. like, take some, some fucking morphine, dude. Chill. Hey, what was the other stuff? There's morphine. And a lot of southern ladies, a lot of fucking, it affected the like middle and upper class because women lost all their husbands and shit and they were all sad. So they started taking it. Started fucking. Well, apparently it wasn't as strong. Like pre drug war, you would just get Probably like. Probably not. You would get like a real weak solution of it once they made it, once they made it illegal. You want to have well, it morphine, stronger, stronger, so you can so you can sneak it over, basically. The morphine that they were getting was, yeah, it was strong. I mean, it's strong, it was but strong you, enough to get like addicted. Oh, of course, and like for sure. Did yeah. you ever smoke opium before? No. I, every every now and again, when I was younger, my boys would get their hands on just like straight opium. opium yeah, <laughs> and you're just like smoking a bowl, and like it doesn't you're not like not an out fucked up on heroin. Yeah. But it, I mean, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't tell people to go smoke opium. But it's like it's, I'll smoke some opium. Get it's not den. as refined. It's not as refined. Get so a nice they, den. Get it, dude. Just fucking smoke lounge. some op, dude. I always wonder. I'm like, was that really like? Where the fuck were people getting opium from? Now thinking about that, 
It definitely smelled different. Like it wasn't hash. I remember like it's had like a distinct smell and stuff. Was there any Chinese dudes at the Wawa? <laughs> no. Was there a Chinese dude at the Wawa? Thought super long flight. <laughs> Couple of gremlin dealers. Yeah, man. Where are we at? Time was hour twenty nine. All right, let's end this. You want to see if we can get yeah, a page? Yeah, let's do a page. All right, uh, we'll, we'll get the Gerbs back in for a page. We're gonna see if the Gerbs is alive. Which yeah, may or may not. Maybe R.I.P. Dude. Think he died? I mean, how can we not it's talk little, about family, dude? He floated up. We're just taking different paths on the Damn, road. Damn, we're about to get like a uh, like do what they did with Walker. Exactly. Get like a Gerbs impersonator, or like someone who looks like Gerbs or sounds yeah, like Gerbs. Yeah, and CGI his face. Yeah, dude. <laughs> uh, <laughs> sh- uh, this. No, never mind. Whoa. June 6th, 7th, and 8th, I'll be at the Tampa Improv. June 14th and 15th, Bananas in Ooh. Hasbrook Heights. Bananas. Yeah, headlining the old bananas. Dude. I'm headlining, so please come out to that. Otherwise, I, I suck. I got a shout out, dude. Fucking Anthony Casella, Hayden Kiss, Biggie Shorty, S Plumps TV, Cristobal Romero. Oh my god, dude! Unbelievable. Yeah, Hayden we do Kiss. have some shouties. Why, why does it always go back up to this thing? Shout out that guy who Luke was Meisner. talking shit on Andrew Pace. <laughs> yeah, dude. Shout out the guy who's attacking Pace. <laughs> what up, Pace? Matt Meyer, Sam Lowry, seven two nine Smith, seven four two nine Smith. Dude, it's just. Unbelievable. Ginty just... P.O.R.E. Jim Ginty just messaged me. Milo is the man. It's the first time I've talked to him in months. <laughs> really? Hilarious. <laughs> He's out of his mind. I, dude, again, I, I get it, Jeff Shane. Hoffman. Shout out Jeff Hoffman. Shane, I, I get it and all. Hell, you know. You think you can have anyone on your podcast? And I support comedy. If you ever see my stuff on YouTube, obviously I know how to do stand-up, but like, not in my fucking backyard, dude. Talk, you're talking about bringing a fascist? Warmongering fucking fascist. Shut up. In my backyard, dude. In my you're fucking, a fucking backyard. War monger. What? I love war. You, are you, dude? Are you? You're gonna I say you love troops, war dude. while I you're in my the backyard? And love war. I love sending troops to their death. You're in my backyard right now, dude. You can't. I your, cannot. I'm in your fucking front yard, bro. Dude, you cannot enter my des- room, designated dude. geographical space and start talking about. On deck. In Actually, the technically, room. that's what fascists do. They definitely, there's technically, the kind of the aim is to be in your backyard. <laughs> yeah, that's so what it's they kind love of like, <laughs> yeah, they dude. love to get in. If there. they're not in your backyard, technically, they're not a fascist. Fascists really. love getting in your house. Love your backyard, dude. They chill in your backyard, dude. Nice fire pit. They <laughs> toss some books in there. <laughs> right. I do. Right, those right. fucking. Feeling like Slash in front of the chapel. I'm lean back with the less pull. Shit I smoke is like cholesterol. Still dressing on the vest at the festival, the best of all. Had a midget Puerto Rican at my beck and call. Best believe that there was naked fall. Fuck around and-